and I'll maybe wait for a few more people to pop up before I get started, but Clay Potts is the MVP today because I work on the New York Commission. Hello, hi, welcome everybody to my uh, humble hellish abode during this holiday season. Yippee! Okay, it's camp. <laughs> ah, don't mind that loud ring. It was not actually that loud. My microphone is attached to my desk, so any slight sound I make on my desk is amplified tenfold. How's everybody doing today? It's still pretty early-ish in the day for me. Ooh, nice. Oh, yes, I have a question for you once I switch screens. Give me a second. Ooh, what kind of bread are you gonna make? Let's see, um, so there's, uh, the sketched ref you made for this current design of her. I wanted to know if you wanted the eyes to have the same colors as this ref, or if you wanted them to be solid teal. I think that's the only, uh, only design question I had. Solid teal, gotcha, 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 gotcha. I almost forgot my shoulder brace. That is required. Let me grab that. I would have started drawing and been like, ooh, why am I so ouchy? It's because I'm not wearing my ouchy armor. Chibata. Whatever it is you make. Shibata would be a good character name. Or a good pet name. And your dog, Shibata. So I barely got to draw yesterday until later in the evening. And today my arm is like, it, I wouldn't say it feels less painful, it just feels different. So I'm hoping that steroid kicks in at some point. Yeah, I've had steroid injections in my neck before for neck pain. Um, it did not last. It's not a problem solver, it's a temporary solution. So the point of me getting it this time is if... Uh, so the theory that my doctor and I have right now is that the 
all around pain might be stemming from my shoulders from uh, nerve damage sustained during high school from way too heavy backpack and shoulder bags. Uh, so he gave me the steroid injection in the shoulder and the, the, the idea is if, if there is pain relief throughout my whole arm from this, that hints toward the shoulder being the root of the problem. Um, right now it's mostly the same, so I'm, I'm gonna keep an eye on it over the next month and see if there's any difference. And I sure hope there is, because I am so sick of this. Hello. Hi. Hi. So welcome. What is it about? Uh, nothing much. I just got out of class. Nice. Well, I say got out, but I, uh, I did not attend like in-person classes today because there was like a little issue. Oh no, not a little issue. <laughs> like, my instructor got sick, like, real bad. Oh no. Uh, so she was like, okay, for today, you guys are just going to be doing, like, a, like a Zoom meeting with uh, someone from, like, another class. So, like, <laughs> so I had to, like, still wake up kind of early today, but I didn't have to go to school. That's good. I thought you were out a little earlier than normal. So uh, yeah. Also, hold on. I gotta wrangle. I gotta wrangle this creature. <laughs> that was the funniest cat sound. <laughs> I know she is so silly. She's got like the croakiest meow that I've ever heard a cat have. <laughs> <laughs> So much rage in, in that little face. It's so silly. I know. Uh, also, I may be going to our local witch's store tomorrow. Um, it's gonna depend oh, on hell yeah. How, yeah. It's gonna depend on how my brother's feeling because he may not want the temptation. We oh, should I should not be buying stuff right now, but I need to get Christmas presents for people. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I feel ya. You're playing yeah. a dangerous game over there. Yes, that store is the fucking worst because every time I go in there, I can't leave without something. Um, oh. But yeah, if if I end up going, I'll let you know so we can FaceTime. Yay! Because I'm really curious about like the other stuff that they have there. Oh, it's lovely. But I did go through literally everything on their website, and they don't have everything on there. Ah, damn. Yeah, there's some of their rotating stock just comes and goes so fast, I guess it's not worth putting online. Yeah, probably. I, I need to check the taxidermy bugs on the website. Ooh, well, I'm sure that those probably go fast. They do, and mostly because of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Like I'm you're like single-handedly keeping them afloat. <laughs> I wouldn't say single-handedly, but I'm definitely contributing a hefty amount. <laughs> oh, I don't taxidermy bugs, Clay Potts. I, I have a local witch's store that sells taxidermy bugs. I should get into bug taxidermy, though, because I do have multiple bins full of pretty dead bugs that I just don't know what to do with. I thought they meant, like, oh, like, like you, general, can oh. taxidermy bugs. And yes, oh, you can yeah. taxidermy pretty much anything. Yeah, you just, you get them posed, and you pin them to a frame, and voila. Yep. 
and they look very pretty. I love me some bugs on my walls. Yes. Alive or dead. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather have live bugs. Uh, <laughs> although, like, if, if anything, I would love to have, like, some framed uh, butterflies and moths. Oh, I love them. They're my babies. Dude, that store has way too many of those. Get ready. <laughs> oh. Every oh. time I go, I'm like... <sighs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's so over. Yeah, the problem is they're like way expensive though, so that's what saves me from buying them sometimes. Oh, uh, sometimes. yeah, I can imagine. Sometimes. <laughs> the last couple times I went, they had a couple of um, comet moths, which are fucking huge. Ooh, yeah. Big, big, but they're like a hundred dollars or something like that. Ugh. Yeah, that's not surprising. I have never seen one in person, but I would love to have one. Yeah. Someday. Yeah, someday. Like if I walked into into that place, I would have to put on like horse blinders or something because I would go too wild. <laughs> you know how bad I am with self control. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's and like I'm I'm <laughs> I'm just like a little better at at, at self restraint because I. Like, I, I, I know when I got a budget, and I try not to, like, go over that, but sometimes it's just, like, I'm possessed. Yeah, with, I have the object permanence issue. If it's on mine, I can have self-control. If it's right in front of me, I need to grab it and keep it. I know. Yeah. Horrible. Truly. I love having... Autism that makes me hoard small items. <laughs> and like I, oh god, I would need to like free up space for like more trinkets. Like I would need to get shelves because like as much as I want, because <laughs> like as much as I want to hoard more uh, like tism enrichment, I I just can't right now. <laughs> I definitely got a hefty amount while I was out of town, so I, I, I would be oh, better yeah. about not getting something from me if I went tomorrow, because I'm, like, focused on getting Christmas presents. Well, you did just treat yourself recently. Balls. 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 I treated myself a lot, yes. <laughs> My credit card is not happy with me. As oh, we know. dude. Oh no. But that's a problem for later me. I didn't yeah. overdraft it, that's okay. Well, it's 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 the holidays. It's it's the nature of the holidays. <laughs> oh, uh clay pots, uh snake fangs, yes or no. Yes, okay. Sweet friends. I know I said it in our group chat already, but I love waking up to uh, fish pictures in our in our chat because of Corey. I know. I it, it's so delightful. Like every time, it brightens my mornings. I especially love the eels. I also love the eels. They're my babies. I love the but like sh universe. Oh, uh, but like sharks, they're they're my number one. I love them. I could watch them for hours. Yeah. I, um, 
I like occasionally getting recommended videos on YouTube of people petting eels. I know, they're so darling. They just love it. They love being pet. Yeah. What are you sending me, you son of a bitch? <sighs> That's beautiful, pal. Glasses. Dude, that glasses design is really sick, actually. Ooh. Your Madonna era. I, I did not say McDonald's, but thank you, guys. <laughs> I was gonna try. say. Oh yeah, um, shout out to Kiyamoon99 on Twitter for donating $25 to my ghost hunting fund today. <laughs> Hell yeah. Which, within the minute I went and bought an EMF detector with. Haha. <laughs> oh that's god, okay. Yes. So when is it going to come in? Uh, Saturday, allegedly. Ooh. It's on, it was from Amazon, so it shouldn't take that long at all. Right. I'm excited. No, I'm excited for you. I'm going to go stand in our backyard and see if that spooky thing I banished is still there. <laughs> Imagine if it is. Like, oh. uh, what has it been doing the whole time? No, we gave it, we gave it pumpkin pie. <laughs> oh, well, that's nice. Yeah, so what happened was, it was the morning we were gonna leave for our trip, and I had mm -hmm. to banish it from the house again because I forgot to say it wasn't allowed to come back inside after I banished it from my little trinket. Oh um, my god. And <laughs> my brother was like, oh man, Ollie never finished her slice of pumpkin pie, we can't eat it now. Can my hand go down, please? My hand is not up. Thank you. <laughs> uh, stop it! I think it's my shoulder brace that's getting confused. Um, ah, anyway, uh, probably. Uh, yeah, the, the pumpkin pie was no longer humanly edible, so I was like, why don't you throw it in the backyard for whatever I just banished? Maybe it'll feel better. Huh. We never heard from it again, so hopefully you liked it. Yeah. No idea what the fuck it was. Hopefully it chilled out. Well, it, it, to me, it sounds like it probably did. Yeah, I haven't had many icky feelings lately. Sometimes I'll get well, that's a good. vibe, it's not necessarily a bad or a good one, it's just a noticeable feeling, but it doesn't last. Well, maybe you just need to do Olympia. Like, everybody, I, I, I recommend that, like, everybody should do, like, at least one, like, quick little cleanse, like, once a month, just to, like, like you know, it's it's like cleaning your house, but like yeah. energetically. Yeah, I do I do that um, every now and then. I burn incense almost every day too, just to keep the vibes in check. Um, I, I want to get witch bells for all of our doors. Uh, mm, hard, yeah, it's, it's hard to yeah, decide on the style. Ah, yeah. Currently, we have Christmas bells on the doors, so those are a substitute for now. Well, those work. Yeah, I, I mean, the bells, so. Yeah. Yeah, clay pots, burns and incense. I still can't get over that terror reading from yesterday is telling me I don't have money or equipment, stupid idiot. <laughs> What is with your deck? It like reads you. It like reads you. It's so funny. <laughs> I know it, it's hilarious because it, like, what is with, with the dude? It feels like a best friend that roasts you. That's exactly the vibe. Yeah. And I I read the card readings to my brother and I explained what I interpreted it as, and he's like, "That's so hyper specific." This, I the know. first card was like Phantom of the Opera theme, and it's like, you, you want to be going after phantoms. And I'm like, I sure do! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so great. Ooh, let me know, let me know how that is. Like, well, maybe I can find 
a similar one when I go into the store tomorrow, if I do. Yeah, I'm, I am spiritually vibing lately. Good. Feeling it. Like, if you're, like, new to, like, the practice, that's that's what I recommend doing. Just, like, you get a feel for what you're comfortable with, know your limits, yeah. all that stuff. I hope by this time next year I'm ghost hunting. I hope so too, because I feel like you'd have a lot of fun. Oh, I will. I will have so much fun. I will scare the shit out of myself, but then I'll be fine. <laughs> oh, uh, trust me. After a certain point, you you get used to it. I well, know. not like used to it, but like you you build up a tolerance. Yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to do. Because I've been <laughs> wanting to do this my whole life, but you know, anxiety disorders. <laughs> Oh God, I, I I feel you. Except it, mine is not anxiety related. It is financial related. Oh, yeah. Like if That's if it. I could afford it, yeah. If I could afford it, I would have been a ghost hunter years ago. Oh yeah. Um, I do want to start driving at some point, but I I haven't started all my lessons yet because it's almost tax season, and I need to make sure yeah. I can afford things. Um, yeah, I know. But. My dream car is a shitty old truck that's way older than I am, shorter than me, and just co a comically small old truck. I have reverse big truck syndrome. Oh my god, uh, like, I, I still need to drive as well, uh, cause I, I do, like, occasionally, like, take our car around, like, a, a block or two, and it's, like, fine. But like actually like practicing like oh here's like a stoplight blah, 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 like all that stuff like it makes me want to throw up. Yeah. Uh, which like eventually I'm gonna have to because I'm gonna have to commute places anyway. Yeah. But uh, God, when, when you said like oh my dream car is like would be like ideally like something older than me, I like have been wanting like a a funky 70s van for like years they're so cute yes. i want to decorate them. like I, I, you know those old trucks that have like two tons of paint on them yes i want something like that and i want to deck it out with ghost hunting stickers Ooh. Mystery it's van. A, yeah, it's gonna be a truck that I'm gonna take yes. places to go. Ghost hunting. Oh my god. <laughs> Claypots, there's a lot of uh, witchy people in my server. Like, I'm, I'm new to this stuff, but like, uh, vibe-wise, I'm with it. Uh, I know Nareen in my server, very witchy. Uh, Indrid, also pretty witchy. Um, mm. Let's see, Clay Pops, you're also with you, but you're not looking for yourself. Unless you are. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. Corey, sort of. He's, 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 get, he's also getting into it. Yeah. yeah. He's, a, he's a slow burner. Uh, let's see. Well, well, it's not, well, it's not that he's like a slow burner. It's that, like, he's not woo-woo. Like, he's not, like, really, like, into that kind of stuff, but... Yeah. He is, like, he acknowledges that it's there, like a little tip of the hat kind of thing, yeah. but, uh, like, that's it. <laughs> He's like, I'm keeping my distance, thank you. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> You're my neighbor and you cannot come over. <laughs> yeah, that really is it. Cause like uh, he's he's been like taking me along with his journey, like making his little like corner and just like giving him but like tips and stuff and it's 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 cool that he's like interested in it yeah. but he's not like fully witchy yeah. he likes the aesthetic though oh yeah the aesthetic is what gets you that's a gateway drug yes exactly that's what happened to me 
That's also what happened to me. I'm like, oh, I just like pretty rocks. I just like them. They're oh fun God. to look at. And now I'm like... Yes! Because, <sighs> like, I remember that, like, I... Because I was already, like, kind of into, like, Supernatural and the occult. Like, I was already learning about it when I was maybe, like... I don't know, like, middle school age. Uh... And then in high school, that's when I really started like getting into it. I started learning about like rocks. I started learning about what they meant, uh, and also just like general practices. Because again, it's something that my great grandmother also did. So I, I I also wanted to reconnect with that, and it just kind of snowballed from there. Hell yeah! Five thousand spells in a spellbook. Holy shit! Whoa. I want to know what the most, like, out-of-pocket silliest spell from that book is. Oh, Clay Pots. Witch Blur is... Like, you are in the trenches. Yeah. Like, it, it, it is so... It is very hit or miss. There are some weirdos. Like, like, you just have to be, like, wary of, like, people's, like, ideologies and, like, where they, like, kind of stand on the occult spectrum because some of them get a little weird with it. Yep. <gasps> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> of the flatulence. That's so funny. I want to know. I want to. I, I need to know that spell. I need to know that one. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of snails, um, my uh, brother wants to add some more leaf litter to his reptiles enclosures, so I went out and grabbed some magnolia mm -hmm. leaves in our backyard. And you have to inspect every leaf because underneath, like half of them, there was a bajillion snails. Aww. They're so small. Aww, oh, little babies. Somebody on my Twitter was like, you could be the first ghost hunting VTuber, and I'm like, that has to already exist. There's no way I would be the first. I was gonna say, like, there, there's gotta be at least one person. I know there's people who like react to ghost videos, but that's not the same. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those are all, all, like, all over the place, but, like, a VTuber ghost hunter. Yeah, I'm like, everybody and their mother is a VTuber, so somebody has yeah. to already be filling that niche. You know what? Let me go see. <laughs> Please do. Cause I'm cu I'm curious. You're gonna find phasmophobia. I'm calling it now. I know. Ugh. Five pounds? Holy shit! What? Whoa. Whoa. That's a big ass book. Most uh, the people on my server, uh, from what I can tell, seem pretty chill. So if you want to like ask around, if anybody's like into witchy stuff, I'm sure you'll find plenty more than what I mentioned. Me having the aesthetic of a demon will attract certain people. <laughs> <laughs> still not sure on, like, what 
hatred deity to aim for. Hello, showtime! Hi! Hello! What? Let's get you over a little bit, hold on. How's it going? It's going good. It's whoop ass time. It's whoop ass time. Are you playing Splatoon? Oh boy. Uh, Scarlet and Violet, I'm about to go face the ghost type gym. Oh shit. Oh, Godspeed. Well, Godspeed to you because I'm bringing you into the party <laughs> for this. Oh no! Do not let <laughs> that... me drink, I swear to God. <laughs> Don't worry, I have him up to level 40. Okay, thank you. <laughs> the level cap is 42. Also, Bull, you evolved. It took only one level. Yeah! <laughs> Yay! I am ghost- Big Ghost Bobby! Big Ghost Dog. I'm bringing you in too, and yeah. I feel like it's only kind of a bad idea. Meet me in the back of the party. Yeah. I'm a- I'm a- I'm a- I'm a- I'm a- End sweeper if you rid of everybody dies. Yeah, I I gave you your signature move, but I did it with reluctance because I was like, that's a move that can be very powerful, but in a situation that isn't this. I'm your final gambit. Yeah. So the last thing I want in a nuzlocke is people dying. Yep. <laughs> oh man, I think it was like last month that I tried oh sorry. I was just uh, reacting to what Claypot said. Yeah. Uh, I think it was like last month that I tried a Scarlet Nuzlocke and I got really frustrated with it, like really, like, really quickly. <laughs> yeah, this one is surprisingly, despite how baby easy the game is to play normally, this game is brutal to Nuzlocke. I know. Oh, I'm gonna recommend that you not Nuzlocke the newest DLC that's gonna come out. Um, just oh dear. do it. <laughs> oh no, I'm I'm doing that one on my own like main game. Yeah, I'm just saying like if you want to continue your Nuzlocke, cut it off before you get there. Because, um, so the main battle style in the DLC is double battles and they Every NPC has competitive double double team setups. It's actually first of all, hard. first of all, that's exciting that it's double battles because wow, I can't believe they finally they finally remember double battles exist in Pokemon oh, games. But it's it's actually challenging, so a Nuzlocke would not be the best idea. Yeah. Second of all, that's incredibly exciting. I can't believe they actually are posing a difficulty. Yep. I mean, either way, I, either way, in terms of just like a regular playthrough, it can't, it can't be as frustrating as the, the Gen 4 remake Cynthia Battle. <laughs> Fuck that one. Ugh. Cynthia is out for blood. Yeah, shout out to them using actual, like, competitive band strats for the Elite Four. Fucking Flint and his minimize drift limb. <laughs> I hate that man. I hate him too. He's got like two fire type Pokemon and that's it. Stop being fire themed if you only have two, idiot. <laughs> Stop looking like Ronald McDonald, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Get his ass. Oh yeah, Kareem, you came in while you were talking about witchy stuff. Ooh. I was saying, um, I don't, I'm not, like, knowledgeable on a lot of witchy deities, um, so I'm just kind of vibing right now until something jumps out at me. I know, like, what themes I vibe with, but I don't know what that points to. Well, it, it all depends on what type of, like, like, path that you want to follow which like you seem to be a little more on the like the eclectic side like you're a little like i don't know uh because like i i don't really know what like all the signs are pointing to either it, it, it to me it, it it just seems like it's a very personal practice which is like totally fine and normal like i'm 
I, I started out that way too before, you know, big man started knocking on my door. Yeah, I'm, I'm just waiting for something like that to happen or for me to like read an article and be like, oh, that makes so much sense. Yeah, yeah. And it'll happen with time. Like yeah. once you find your footing, like once you like know what rituals work, which ones don't, like, yeah. Yeah. Kitchen witch stuff is very in vogue at the moment. Ah, yeah. Uh, like, kitchen witch stuff is cute. Like, I... I partake sometimes, because it's like, it, it's it, it's easy stuff. Because I, and like, I do, like, bake a lot, actually. And I kind of, like, divide uh, what I make with, like, okay, this is going to be for this guy. Because he does enjoy, like, a, a treat or two. Um, but I wouldn't call it kitchen witchery, like... Exactly. Hmm. Yeah, I'm only just now finding my footing, so I don't even know what to call myself. Yeah, it's it's something that'll that'll come with time. Yeah. And even if if you think that it's it's taking a while, then sometimes it, it like. I don't know, like, some people don't have, like, a specific deity that they make an altar to. Like, sometimes people make altars for stages of the year, like the seasons. Uh, just trying to, to connect with, like, with nature, with, or, or, or your, like, immediate environment. It doesn't even have to be, like, uh, like, a seasonal thing, like Beltane or uh, Samhain or whatever. Like, it doesn't have to be that. It can just be, like, okay, this is an altar for my like backyard and whatever lives in there nice yeah currently my shrine is just things that make me happy yeah like that works it's very funny to hear you say that you don't know what kind of witchery aesthetic you're going for and then i look at your character model and what's on top of your head right now and i'm like hmm <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I don't worship demons, if that's what you're ins insinuating. It's just very funny that you've so readily, like, made that character for your VTuber model, despite it not being your your witchy aesthetic. Listen, he's a so Bob is like my most out-of-pocket Sona. He doesn't represent me in five ways at all. I just like him. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> I had a lot of other characters I played around with as what would be my VTuber, and the bull just kind of happened to come in at the right time, so that's what I stuck with. Mm. And at this point, you're too afraid to ask. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love the bull. <laughs> he slaps. Yeah. Like this. Slap. <laughs> well, uh, well, you tried. Well, I did. It's just, it's, it's just like clipping for you as I do it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You're slapping my butt. What are you doing? I'm slapping your back. It's oh, just not the, working. Yeah, because the hand is going like directly down, so I just see it go up and then go down. Whoa. It does not want to move down very quickly at all. Also, no. I only have one hand up. The one over here is fucked up. Also, Green, your your Christmas slash birthday gifts should get here around the 16th, allegedly, but all of them are from eBay, so there's no guarantee. Yeah. Um, oh. Yeah, I'll ask for your address whenever they get here. So I can mail it to you. Yay. Yay. So I said I got you two things. I lied. There's four things. What the hell? 
won't justify myself. You can't do that. Do that. Thank you, Clay Potts. I'm glad. Yeah. It's giving fantasy novel book cover vibes in a good way. Thank you. Yes. Sun is starting to attack me. I must close my blinds. Oh no! It is that time of day. I got it. I love how my model just broke. Yeah, your model's having a time today. Yeah, what I happens? need to update Vignon. I think I just haven't done it yet. Mm. It's an ordeal every time I update it because I have to re-upload all of my props and change settings on OBS and I fucking hate it. Yeah. No. Montanavera is literally in the snowy mountains. Why is everyone wearing shorts or a tank top? <laughs> the <Yeah. from> Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> sourdough. Make sourdough, make sourdough. not made bread in like years. Bread. 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 Oh, I forgot Brutal Swing will literally hit my partner Pokemon. <laughs> oh no. Oops. Indra's out here fucking it up. <laughs> you told him to. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. The other one on the T the other one that's currently out right now is um is Grim Snarl, who took it like a champ. Nice. Aw. Yeah, Grim Snarl's not even gonna sneeze at that. I want to know what Grim Snarl's body looks like underneath the hair. That exists. Hold on. It does? Yeah, people have seen it in the model. Whoa. Oh my god. I need to know if he's actually muscular or if it's just hair. It's just hair. Yay! I <laughs> have you seen, um, Hatterene without her hair? No. No, oh I have not. God. She's it, just the little, like, Binding of Isaac baby in there, right? Yeah. <laughs> it first... Uh, uh, there you go. What? Oh. What's up with that one arm on the side? Don't worry about it. This, is, this it? isn't, like, the actual model. They definitely photoshopped this, but that's just what it looks like under there. Oh my god. 
Yeah, I... This actually does less to answer the question now, because the the one arm on the on the left is very skinny, but the one arm on the right is, like, still thick. So I don't know. The forearm, at least. Why the fuck? Where is no hair Hatterian? Honestly, he doesn't look bad without the hair at all. He just looks like a goblin. Yeah. Yeah. I found it. Okay. Here's oh no hair Hatterian. Oh! Alien. Oh no. They peeled her. There's a little alien in there. She's a little gray man. <laughs> oh, man. I could have sworn I've seen the actual Red Snarl model with that hair peeled off. But I can't find it anywhere. Hi, Sherman. Sherman. Hey, buddy. Sure. I have a cat tree right next to the door. And he's decided that instead of walking around the cat tree like a normal creature, every time he comes into my room, he has to jump over the cat tree. So he'll, oh like, my God. he'll come through the crack of the door, go whoop over it, and then make the loudest crashing sound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can't find 3D model no here. So that's the best we get. <laughs> Yep. Also, okay. hello, Earth Wizard. Hello. Well, now my my question continues to remain unanswered. I think he's skinny under there. His arms definitely don't have muscle when he uses his attacks. Yeah. Sure, man. Ghost Hunter donation today. Ghost Hunter donation? Yes. There's the little donation goal over there that says oh. become a ghost hunter. <laughs> oh, I legit couldn't see it because the little character is in the way. Yeah, they have to fucking move! <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, I was gifted $25, so I bought an EMF reader. Wow. Yeah. It's gonna be so step. much fun. Yeah. I'm so excited. I love how out of nowhere this kind of is to people who aren't super familiar with me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I I feel like with with the bulls aesthetic, like ghost hunting, isn't that much of a reach. Oh no, it's not. It's just I've I've had um, the fascination with ghosts my whole life because of life experiences, and it's not something I talk about publicly all the time. Mhm. Mm but boy, oh boy, am 
I gonna be talking about it endlessly now? <laughs> Very fair. I watch all the time called Mackie and Amanda. And, oh, uh, yeah. They, they did a very short live stream and they said something about it being Wednesday. And I said in chat, it is Wednesday, my dudes. And they read my comment and I thought that was lovely. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Can't wait for the part two DLC to meet those those four little freaks who call themselves the Junior Elite Four. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm gonna shove them all in a locker. <laughs> Cause like three of them, three of them are fine and non-specific in terms of design. Three of them are fine and non-specific enough that they could be anything. And then there's one who's just like cooking. That's my entire personality. <laughs> <laughs> like, gee, I wonder, I wonder what your type is gonna be, cooking boy, boy with, boy dressed like a chef. Poison. Poison. <laughs> <laughs> botulism boy. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know, botulism boy? Shout out to Digimon Frontier for giving me botulism boy as an insult. <sighs> Digimon Frontier. You're telling me so that's much. a that's a Digimon thing? Yep. Yes. This is you know what? <laughs> I'm not gonna question it. I'm there's not gonna an question it. There was an episode where they had to make hamburgers to uh to appease one of the, the major villains at the time. Uh and two mm -hmm. of them, the leader <laughs> and the lancer character, were both like having a competition with each other to see who can make the best burger and the the lancer character looks over to him and says uh like uh yeah i'd like to see you try to do better botulism boy <laughs> <laughs> holy shit the insult was warranted and his burgers were atrocious i am adding that to my dictionary <laughs> <laughs> What was the beef and jerky one? Oh, it, it it's like I'm beef and he's the jerky. Oh my god. Uh, and then the other one, the the white chocolate one, was like that guy's like white chocolate, all style and no taste. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Did you let Frontier is a fucking wild time, dude? Oh, I I can imagine. Do not watch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, don't don't worry. I would have to be in a hostage situation in order to finish a series that long. It's not okay. long. Digimon Frontier is like uh, sixty episodes. Like if that, I think it was, it was maybe like fifty, 50 something. something. Yeah, You're saying that like it's not like impossible for like my tism to concentrate to sixty episodes. No, like out of any Digimon series, do not start with that one. <laughs> No. Okay. Um, like, Digimon comes in waves. 
So there's yeah. a bunch of different animated series with different casts and different universes all together. Yeah, yeah it's uh, it's it's like Common Rider. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. the The shortest Digimon series so far, at 48 episodes, is Digimon Data Squad, aka Digimon Savers, and even then, like. Depending on how you go about it, that can even be cut down to about 23 episodes. Yeah, the um, first half is the worst garbage on planet Earth, and then the second half is the best thing I've ever seen on TV. My god. So it's, it's yeah. like you should read a synopsis for the first half of the series and then watch the rest. See, like, that's how I, like... Like, like, like that's how people that have tried to get me to watch like super long series in the past have like gotten me to do it they give me a synopsis because i like I, I don't know i don't know what it is about a long series that just like intimidates my brain so i just don't start it at all because like my my brother has tried to get me into one piece and he's like look there's there's like a like a thing that cuts down like all all the fluff from it, and I'm just like that's still long as hell. Yeah, one piece is a commitment. Yeah. But it is like a worth it commitment, tragically. Oh, I, I've heard like good things about it, and yeah. I'm sure that I would be all over it if I did start it. But like, I have no idea when that day is going to be. Yeah, you, you just have to, like, let it happen when it happens, and there's no way to force it. Yeah. The live action is a fantastic gateway drug, though. Uh, well, I did watch it. My brother sat me down with a, yeah. to watch it with him, and it was really good. I liked it. But, alas, it was not enough, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, uh... The first half of, of Data Squad is just, it's very episodic monster of the week, like goofy, goofy fun time. Aww. And then the second half of the show is like, I don't know, I don't know what writers they got, but it became very, very well written and emotionally, like, evocative. Oh man. Like, I had... Uh, I had a similar experience with one of the more recent Tentai shows, uh, Dom Brothers, because like it starts off like so goofy and campy, and it's like oh, it, it's like a little slice of life with these like characters that so happen to be like heroes. No, bitch, it, it there is like some eye emotional drama that will get you in your feelings like out of nowhere. <laughs> That happened with Data Squad, where I was like, oh, this show sucks so bad, and then I started crying when it started getting good. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it, it's not... Monster of the Week can be done good. I've seen many shows yeah. doing good. Um, mm -hmm. The problem with Data Squad is it has the, one of the most unlikable main characters ever. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Not the most unlikable, because I'd say... One of like, Oh yeah, one of. Uh, I I can definitely see the kind of personality who would watch the show and unironically like Marcus and think he's a good character. I I do not. I am not that personality. Yeah, we hate Marcus here. All yes. right, I I don't know what this guy's crimes are, but like, <laughs> I'll, I'll take your word for it. We're not even gonna get into it. We were talking about that for hours. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just don't fucking hate Marcus. <laughs> we oh can't. no. What I will say about like, I I honestly I don't mind when uh, a kind of like monster of the week uh, episodic series starts to turn serialized because it can do like the it can do some interesting things if the point of serialization is a very interesting plot point um mm. and honestly the episodic like the the beginning episodic parts are very good for just getting again you like interested and entertained and figuring out who the characters are as characters yeah yeah uh, did you want tamers do that too mm. yeah 
and that's plus, like, like the best one. one. Yeah. Plus, like, depending on how well you do it, you can fully start a serialized series at the beginning being or seeming as episodic to get adjusted to the world setting and then, like, slowly, like, dipping in to the full serialized format. Yeah. Right. Claypots, I'm so sorry that happened to you, but also, tragically, that clown is one of the best characters in all of One Piece. I okay. I don't. I don't know where everybody's like vitriolic aversion to that character was. But I enjoyed him. I thought he was funny. It's just the clown phobia. Well, people like, need to. Yes. People need to get over like the clown phobia. Yes. It's like, they're so silly. Claypots they're just silly guys. Buggy the clown is so good. And He's like, also the funniest character in the live action. Oh, yeah, and w one of my friends, uh, they are a huge, like, buggy appreciator, and they, like, <laughs> and when they heard that I was watching, like, the live-action series, they were, were like, like, <gasps> you have to tell me all about it, you have to tell me what you think about it, and I was like, oh, oh, oh okay, <laughs> but like, fortunately for them, I, like, I, I did, I, I thought he was so, he's very delightful. Yes, uh, yeah, Clay Potts. He's tragically an attractive clown. <laughs> <laughs> like live action does him really good, but even in the manga, um, he's very pretty. <laughs> I'm not even a clown fucker, and I agree. Yeah. Clown fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Clay pots. If you want to watch the live action one piece. Can I watch it with you? Can we watch it? Please, 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 please. <laughs> Hi, Sash! We're talking about Buggy the Clown from One Piece, and now he's got a massive, massive, uh, Buggy Ball. <laughs> what? Yeah, Clay Pods, let's make it happen. I've already watched the live action all the way through it like three times. Oh my god. And I will keep doing it. It's, it's good every time. Yeah, like I'm, I'm very excited to see what they do with season two. Because from what I've, I've heard, uh, it, it, it gets more interesting from there. Oh yeah, we're gonna get like the, the arc where it's like, oh, this is rocking the shit now, huh? Oh no. <laughs> also, Jamie Lee Curtis is gonna be in season two. Oh, yeah, I did hear about that, huh? Yep. Halfway through the live action. Are you thinking you all play women? <laughs> you mean Activia? <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, Jamie Lee Curtis is famous for her yogurt commercials. And nothing else. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nothing else. Nothing Espe else. Especially not for Knives Out. Absolutely unknown for that schlock. Yeah, no, she's an indie actress. Knives <laughs> Out is so good, dude. It is. Definitely not known. She was in Freaky Friday, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. She was the mom in Freaky Friday. That's where I was exposed to her first as a child. And then I saw her in oh the God. Activia commercials, and I'm like, why is Freaky Friday mom trying to sell me gut yogurt? <laughs> gut yogurt. <laughs> I was first exposed. Probably Halloween. Oh man. It's like, ooh, what? I'm just, I'm, I'm just thinking about Jamie Lee Curtis in the role that she's gonna be in One Piece. Because it's gonna be has so it, good. Uh, has it already been like, like confirmed? Oh. Like the cast has already been yeah. decided? Yes. So she oh, had oh been a popular fan cast for this specific character that she's gonna be for a very long time in the fandom. And oh when, man. When the live action show was announced, people were already campaigning to have her be that character, even though she wasn't going to be in season one. And then, like, 
uh-huh. within the first couple weeks of the first season coming out, um, she had, like, put out a statement being like, I want to be this character. I want to be this character. I will be this character. And then, uh, some Netflix people being like, yeah, she'll be that character. <laughs> That's so cool. So, so, so sick. Yeah, Claypots, watch One Piece with your mom. <laughs> nice catch. Sorry, I'm like inching along with your commission here because I've been fighting over the shape of her face this whole time. <laughs> The shape of the face. The shape of water. That's not the face. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Clay Pots. I'm glad you like it. I'm just trying to make sure I draw, like, the metal plate part of her dress crop correctly. Because I did to do the hair first, so I just... I'm having to fill in the blanks. Your mom sounds cool as fuck. What's your favorite anime? Don't say Attack on Titan. <laughs> She can say it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she can say the cool What was that about? Attack on Titan? Um, the creator is a fascist. Uh, and the oh, And yeah. the is, like, barely thinly veiled propaganda. Oh, yeah. Like, it's not even subtext. It's, it, it's text. Yeah. Hmm. It's not great. Naruto, however. That's Naruto. Good. Watch Naruto. Watch ourselves. Our favorite character is Katashi. Good. Oh, oh, fear. Injured, you're paralyzed. Huh? <laughs> you got paralyzed by Rhyme's toxicity. <gasps> no! no! Well, I'm not forgetting what it was, but uh, the English voice actor for Kakashi, did, I think he did a funny something in Digimon. A funny oh. something? I remember finding it the other day while we were watching, and I just can't remember what it was. I'm checking. I'm gonna find it. Well, it's not what I was looking for, but you, you know the sandwich alien from Lilo and Stitch? Yes. Yes. Uh, Kakashi voices him. Huh. He voices Ruben. Okay, you be rude. He, vo he voices Gantu's boyfriend. Yeah! Oh my god. Also, sorry if you heard my cat. I did. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> She's so sassy. She's silly. Like I, 
I don't know if I if if I mentioned it, but she has like this thing where she is possessed by like the spirit of a cranky librarian. So any <laughs> talking for like long amounts of time, it, it pisses her off. Silly. Very. <laughs> Oh, uh, Kuki, yeah. Yeah, uh, that's Kakashi as well. Oh, okay. I mean, I never really thought about it until right now how much that Experiment 625 and Ganty really were just boyfriends, huh? Yeah, they really were. Yes. They were just boyfriends with a humiliation fetish, basically. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> <gasps> oh, he's Ice Daddy Mod. <laughs> Which oh my one? God. The good one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the one. The one that matters. <laughs> The only one! I mean, there's other Ice Daddy Mons, but yes. <laughs> um, he's also every Trail Mon! What? Every one of them? Every single one of them, those are all the same guy. Wow, so when he commented on that other Trail Mon's caboose, he was complimenting himself. Yeah. He's oh, also yeah. Emperor Grey Mon and Susano Mon. And Penis oh. Mon. Wow, he has a lot more voices in Frontier than I would have guessed. He is a lot. He's also, um... He's also the main character in Frontier in one of the movies, but not the main show. And in oh, the, that's in weird. The, in the movie, but not the show. <laughs> I, I should also... I should make us watch the, the Frontier movies. Well, I, want, I do want to watch all of the Digimon movies at some, time, at some point. We should, like, start from the beginning, from things we've already watched together. Yeah, fair. I do have to warn you, though, the first Tamers movie does, like, it does feature a dog in danger with the, like, explicit statement that it does not survive. Oh, yeah. If, if, I, if I'm aware oh, of that no. time, I'll be fine. Okay, yeah. I just don't like getting caught by surprise when it comes to a dog dying. But if I'm mentally prepared, I'm Gucci. And does the dog die dot com for all your for all your needs of knowing that information in advance. <laughs> yeah. Does the dog die dot com using it for its name only. No other triggers, just the dogs. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh Kakashi is the demi mod of all time. We <laughs> And, sorry, just what Claypot said, I'm reading now, and she called a Hokage Hodge, Hinata Hyena, and also somewhat, somewhat related, she mixed up Rick and Morty with Neon Genesis Evangelion. How what? did she manage that? Also, we survived the gym. Yay! Woo! Getting the robot Morty. <laughs> That's a show I refuse to watch, because everyone who's watched it compares things to it like it's the only piece of media they've seen. Yeah, that's very fair. Yeah, even Gillian fans like... can be kind of unbearable. I could not get into it either. <laughs> it's I like that. Some but... of it, and it was, it was. I liked it. I just never finished it because I forgot to. <laughs> it's like that one joke of like, man who has only ever seen the movie Boss Baby compares everything <laughs> to Boss Baby. It's like that, but Evangelion yeah. to the Boss Baby. It's like anime watchers who have only ever seen Evangelion compare every anime to Evangelion. 
Oh man. <laughs> and then uh, uh if only they knew that Evangelion was technically somewhat ripping off a lot of Ultraman. <laughs> I know. But then again, like it's not really that hard to figure out when you like remember how much of a big like tokusatsu guy that like Aono is. Yeah. To be honest, Ultraman did go on to influence many other like various anime and uh live action scenes. Are you okay, Bull? Yeah, sorry. I'm uh, I was getting water and my hands started freaking out on camera. <laughs> okay. Oh no. But yeah, Ultraman, very influential towards a lot of, um, like, media in oh, Japan yeah. as a result. What's, what's happening? Yeah. What are you doing? Oh my god. My hand is not up! <laughs> <It's gone. laughs> that was... that was interesting. So yeah. now I have proper hand tracking. Yeah. Not anytime soon, though. I'm not about to drop $200 on hand tracking. What the fuck? Yep, that's how much fleet motions cost. Jeez. I will take yeah. the jittery free hand tracking over that any day. It's amazing the amount of things in media that have influenced, like, other pieces of media. I think about the Akita slide because that like when you watch Akira, it's like it's a cool shot right but it doesn't feel like anything that would be it's... extremely significant but it, i know it's like a split second shot yeah but everything references the Akira slide at some point it's it's destiny it's like a yes. it evolves into crabs I I would love an entire I'm sure it's out there, someone probably keep it a compilation, but just like an entire list of every piece of media that has at some point referenced the Akira slide. Oh, there's a there's oh, the compilation be. all the time. Yep. Yeah. God, that also makes me think of how uh this one horror like psychological horror movie, uh, Black Swan took a lot of visual cues from uh, Perfect Blue. Oh. Like some shots are like directly like recreated, and it also kind of deals with like a similar theme. Like the plot is not the same, but like the themes are like the themes are there. Mm. Hey, Indra, do you want a short anime that's really good? Sure. You should watch Odd Taxi. Yes. Oh, I, I, I have heard of that. You should watch it. Really? <laughs> Serious? Please watch it. Oh, this looks cute. Yes. It's I'll so add it to my list. Yes. It's really good. We it's watched so it good. like a month ago. Now I'm like, everybody needs to watch this. It's so short and so good. Everybody can and should watch it. <laughs> if you like Quentin Tarantino movies, you'll love Awe Taxi. <laughs> oh my god. You caught the star! Congrats! Yay. You caught it in your little Digimon paws. Okay, here's my current team that I've set up right now in Pokemon for the Nuzlocke. Uh, right now, it is starting from the top to the bottom. Indrid, the Tinkaton. Yay. Cory, the Cyclozar. 
Fluffs the Gyarados, Nat the Houndstone, Ben the Heracross, and Lindy to the Pseudo Udo. <laughs> Lindy to uh. Because the first one fucking died. In the most atrocious way po- in the most disrespectful way possible. Oh no. They were they were level 15 and they got killed by a a knackly that used mud slap and critical hit on them. Aww. I I felt so insulted at that happening. Mega tragic. Yeah, now I'm just leveling everyone up because not everyone is even at level 40, so I'm using candies to get them there. Drugs, drugs, oh, drugs. Yeah. <laughs> it's not drugs, it's candy. Sure. Drugs. Oh, yeah. Alright, what's the last play? Who am I who am I disrespecting next on my list? Uh Ground Titan. I'm coming for you, Great Tusk. What's the other sweep? Yeah. What? What? You good? Your mic just went like. Oh my god. Me? That's weird. Yeah. I only know it was you because your mic went up. I have no idea. It was like out of nowhere static. Yeah. Spooky. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't do anything. I've just been sitting, here, just l- looking at my switch. It has never done well, that before. Yeah, that was weird. Something had something to say. Fluff wants to know Hydro Pump, but Fluff's special attack is is pretty garbo, so I'm not going to teach him Hydro Pump. That's fine. Hydro Pump 110 is, power. is not the best anyway. Yeah, it's 110 power, but when you have a special attack of 50, it's not worth it. And the accuracy is not the best either. Mm. That's one of Hydro Pump's sad points. Yeah, teach that boy waterfall. They know waterfall. Okay, good. That's like I think that's one of the best physical water type moves. Yeah, that and liquidation. Yeah. 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 I like waterfall because it can make any flinch. Hmm. Talk about disrespect. I. I would love to be able to know what what star ranking these Terra raids are before having to run up to them. 
We can't have nice things. This is Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, Pokemon. <gasps> yep. This terror read is a slack off. A slack. A slack off. Oh. <laughs> I need that one for my Pokedex in my main game because I haven't bothered to bread the Vigoroth I caught. Because <laughs> they don't, <laughs> Slackoths don't exist no matter how much I hit trees. Yeah, they're like, literally impossible to find. It's so stupid. Yeah, I don't. Like, do they. Do they spawn more at night time? No. <laughs> Would a sandwich that increases normal encounter power help? Maybe. Yeah, because I used one that had rock power, and uh, Larvitar's like habitat statement says it's uh, rarely seen. Level one rock encounter power, and suddenly those things were the only thing I saw. Everywhere. Everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. If yeah, that's the only rock type that spawns in that area, that's how you cheat the system. Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> Rarely seen. Oh, I beg to differ. Holds up a piece of bread with some meat in between it. We're breaking the environment with sandwiches. Paldea, Paldea's ecosystem is absolutely atrocious, and it's all because of this one silly little food item. Yep. Slackoth is also a very cute one, Claypot. I love that Slack King to this day is still one of the the like strongest Pokemon that isn't a legendary or a pseudo. But the only thing stopping it from achieving full power is that it's just lazy. Shittiest ability ever, it has to be nerfed. <laughs> I love Truin. No, I love it. <laughs> I relate to it. I'm also very strong, but I'm just lazy sometimes. You don't want to do anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very powerful, but I'm not going to do all the work. I like, um, battle strategies that cheese ability swap to give, uh, different abilities to, uh, things that have true and just low start. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's the way to do it. Fun stuff. Recently I've been going around in my main game just trying to use the Humongo Power stuff to find like the biggest of specific size Pokemon. Just because I'm I I haven't ever seen anything of notable difference in terms of size so far, and I just wanted to show that they did exist to myself. And it's been very fun. Um, by the way, uh, a normal sized Passimian is huge in this game. Yep. Uh. And, and unfortunately, Passimian is only available in Violet. I have Scarlet. I don't know why. It's been available in the, like, the, the first of like a set of games ever since it debuted but this time they're just like now let's put it in the second one but um i yeah i i want like if anyone out there has violet uh please use your manga power find the biggest passimian and <laughs> trade it with me i want it please oh um there's a distribution event in scarlet and violet right now one for a shiny Lucario, and one for a dark ride. Yes, I got those two this morning. Yeah, cream, I'll show you the codes. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Is that one for the Charizard still up, or is that done? What, what Charizard one? The Dark Terror, or whatever it was. That was forever ago. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know. I don't know if they keep the codes indefinite or not. No, they only last like a month. Okay. Yeah, you know I sent you the codes, and it's not out yet, but when the DLC comes out, there will be a distribution event for a Master Ball. Ooh. <laughs> two Master Ball. Oh, does it say two? Well, no, I'm saying, because you Why usually you always get one for beating the main game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I still haven't used mine. Yeah. Also, the, like, there will be legendaries obtainable, like older legendaries obtainable in the DLC, and none of them are shiny locked. So, I'm gonna be trying for some of them. Oh, man. Every legendary is here? No, not every single one. Just oh. some of them. Um, but they do have the legendary horses from uh, the last game's DLC, and they are not shiny locked, so you'll finally be able to get them shiny for the first time. Mm -hmm. Exciting. Man, I cannot do uh shiny hunting it is fun and also the most frustrating thing in the world yeah <laughs> it's just like it's, it's a very time consuming and i don't know i'm, I'm just not patient enough <laughs> for it I'm a, i like doing it on like road trips and flights where i have nothing else to do Ooh. Or in the case of uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, um, uh -huh. it's f the, the shiny spawns so frequently in that game and audibly, so they're like impossible to miss. So I'm you know, like, just I... flying around and, and waiting for one to show up. I never got a shiny in, in Legends Arceus, I don't think. Me neither. How? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Because the mass outbreak thing didn't happen until, like, at least a month after the game was out, so... Well, I mean, I just base a game without the mass outbreaks. Yeah, the only one I have is the is the ponytail one that you get as a, as a quest to capture, that's it. Yeah. I don't have any other shiny. You deserve more shiny. I mean, I don't really care about them. They serve no purpose to me, and most of them are not great looking. Yeah, and because it, it's a lot of time for something that it's like, oh, oh, oh okay, it's, it, it's it's something to look at, I guess, which is like, I don't know, it's not super important to me. Yeah, it's too much time and effort for a novelty that doesn't have much of purpose. Well, that is yeah. It is very fun for me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, it's mostly fueled by, like, my brain thing, because, like, I have the tism where I just cannot do a thing for, like, several hours. Like, over an hour, like, that's my cap. I have so, like, idiot. shiny hunting, yeah. Oh, no, you can continue. Oh, sorry. Uh, I, I, I was just going to say that, like, like, shiny hunting, it makes my brain go, like, like tv static if i like sit there for like more than 30 minutes <laughs> yeah i just have adhd so if it's not something i'm invested in then or like make my own fun out of it then i'm just i don't really care to to do it and unfortunately like shinies don't on their own have enough of an appeal for me if there's one that's like if there's one that's really cool looking, that I look at it and I go, oh, that's actually a better color palette than its original, like a shiny chest pin, right? If that, yeah. were a, if that were a catchable Pokemon in the wild and not a starter or whatever, I would put in the effort to get a shiny chest pin. But, like, that's only because its shiny looks better than its original color palette for Chestnut. Otherwise, I'm just like, if I see one, I'll, I'll catch it, but I won't, like, actively make the effort to go searching for them. Yeah, like all the shinies that I've gotten are just ones that I've encountered like at random. 
Yeah, I've gotten two in Scarlet. One of them was a snow run that just ran up to me with like a group of other snow run, and I was like, oh. oh, you're cute. And then the other one was Tauros, who literally charged into me, and I would not have known it was shiny didn't do the, if it didn't do the little sparkle effect. Yeah, that one sucks. Oh my god. That is uh, a, a top tier, one of the worst shinies ever. <laughs> Aw. Like, I think the most recent shiny that I got was, uh, like, this year when I was playing, like, that Scarlet Nuzlocke, I had, like, a shiny Makahita, like, run up to me, and I was like, oh, you're cute. Like, let me catch you. Yeah, I love when- I love when they're shiny and they run up to you. Uh. Here's a fun thing, um, there's no electrodes that spawn and they will explode after a few seconds if you get too close to them, but the shiny ones won't do that. Aww. They give you some grace. That's so nice. Oh. As, as opposed to, um, in Pokemon Legends, where if you find a shiny Driftwind, good fucking luck, because it will self-destruct. <laughs> Honestly, it sh that should be the way, though. Like, you're, if you're no different stat-wise from your counterparts, then you should behave no differently than your counterparts. Yeah. And, like, I had no idea that you could even get shinies in Pokemon Sleep until I, I, I think Nat, like, got one. And was, like, like talking about it. And I was like, what? I was so confused because I, I didn't think that Pokemon Sleep worked like that. Yeah, yeah. me neither. Their, um, I believe their odds are 1 in 500. Hmm. And I, in the, there's a Christmas event coming up, and I think the shiny odds are boosting. Ooh, okay. Because I've got, I've had like three shinies if you don't count the one time I got a uh, shiny to relax. Oh no, that can, I'll, I'll say that counts, you just can't catch that one. Right. That's still so insane, I can't believe they would let that happen. <laughs> I know! Almost all of my shinies in that game have the worst stats possible. <laughs> it's, um, I got, my first shiny was a Jigglypuff, and it happened to be, like, the god of all Jigglypuffs, so I love it very much. Um, and then the fucking rest of my shinies are all at the bottom of my stat pool, and I'm like, why are you all like this? Aww. Hey, ten Sitaddle just spawned, and they're all running up to me. They want to say hi. They do. This is the cutest mob I've ever experienced. Hi. Oh, all so round. <laughs> They're all so round and of varying rendering qualities. <laughs> oh boy. I literally, I turn my camera slightly over and I can see some of them snapping into, uh, into, like, sharp angles and then others snapping into smooth curves. Oh. I love when I start a Pokemon battle and the encounter is like, this Pokemon is not rendered. Yeah, yeah, and then yes. two seconds later it's rendered. Yeah. <laughs> when you're spacing out in class and the teacher calls on you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I haven't rendered yet. <laughs> Shout out to my ADHD letting me get away with sleeping in math class so often. <laughs> it was one time in math class when I was in like fifth or sixth grade. I was just, I was just sleeping. I was just straight up starting to fall asleep because I, I was always tired and I didn't know why. It was ADHD. Um, uh. and 
my my math teacher like called me out and uh obviously wanted to try and embarrass me in front of everyone and told me to solve the problem on the board and while sat or you know to like give the answer to the problem on the board and while sitting there in my chair at the back of the class i gave the correct answer and he was just like well shut me up all right you can go back to sleep <laughs> and i that's did that's amazing i did i went immediately back to sleep <laughs> nice oh yeah dude <laughs> I fell asleep in that class once too, but I wasn't caught. Wow. Oh, there's a fun story. Um, I was almost struck by lightning once. Oh, cool. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, so I was at school and I had left my. Uh, hello, cousin. I had left my. Um, small purse that I carry period items in, in a different classroom. So I asked mm -hmm. my teacher if I could go back and get it. And they're like, yeah, go ahead. Uh, so I went and this other classroom was one you have to go outside to get to because it was in like a little mobile unit. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. a, a mobile home, but converted into a classroom. A and, trailer, yeah. Yeah, I was... Like, I knocked on the door because it's locked. I'm waiting for someone to answer the door. And right, like, not even three feet away from me, on top of the roof, the lightning hits the roof. And oh, shit. It, yes, it was so close to me and so loud that I went into literal shock. Oh. And I was, set, I was sent to the nurse, and I, I got to literally sleep it off. <laughs> oh, my God. So I, I go to the nurse, trembling, like, oh, my God. Oh my god, like, it knocked out, it knocked out the school's power. Oh shit. So she let me sleep. That was great. Yeah, very well deserved. Yeah. I think, like, the closest I've been to, like, getting hit by lightning uh, was this one time that I was, like, out camping, like, this one summer. It, it, this happened, like, I think, like, two years ago. Uh, and we were, like, in this little lake by like the campgrounds and we had not checked the weather because we couldn't get any service out there uh so we had no idea that it was even going to rain like as bad as it was uh because all of a sudden these like clouds like really dark clouds start rolling in and we're like oh i'm sure it's it, it, it'll be fine it's just like they're gonna like sprinkle right there's this like wall of cold air that just like hits uh because like where we were at we were in this like valley surrounded by hills so it's like the wind just like picked up out of nowhere it was crazy and we're like um this is probably not good we should probably get out right uh because then it starts raining and we're still in the water and then we start seeing lightning like I want to say 20 feet away because like it hit across this like road where like our like like lake is at and we we're like nope nope it's time to pack it up <laughs> Kazu what's your lightning story if you have one that's more than just it almost hit me <laughs> <laughs> Keep going back to mess with her face because it doesn't feel right to me. What about it doesn't feel right? God, I, well, so, where is it? I don't feel like her eyes are going to be looking up at him. They're going to be looking up slightly to the side, and I'm trying to fix that. The 
the eyes are meant to be looking at the at the figure immediately next to the person. Yep. Okay. And like I know how to do that, it's just not working. I had this <laughs> the other day I was working on Kaz's commission and it took me like 20 tries to get his arm right. Like no. sleeve on his arm. Something about it was like fucking with my brain and I could not figure out why. <laughs> yeah, that happens sometimes. Sometimes okay. your brain just refuses to cooperate. Uh, from the looks of it, it looks like just the right eye. Oh, well, now you flipped it, so now it's the left oh, eye. Sorry. Yeah, the the right eye, if you move that over a little more towards the right, it'll give it... Because right now it looks a little too, like, centered, instead of looking off to the side. It just, like, yeah, it over. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. There you go. <laughs> You're welcome. And then if you want to, if the, if the pupils start messing with you, um, the trick to it is they have depths in it. So you can kind of like smooth out and slightly flatten one side of it and it'll make it look properly like shifted toward that side. Oh, oh. <laughs> Girl, where are you looking? It's gone! Oh! Oh no! <laughs> well now she ain't looking at all. <laughs> what do you see with your special eyes? Nothing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and if you wanna like... If it's still like not sitting right with you, you just like slightly flatten it at the side. Whoa, whoa! Sorry, I there's the below your gold rise. <laughs> Love a girl whose eyes flicker into darkness. <laughs> Legitimately, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Black sclera is a very good look. Yeah. Kazu, this is a commission for clay pots. That I was going to start lining on when I was on the day that I was working on your commission, but I didn't do it because I got super sleepy and I had to lay down. My hand, I will say, my hand is also a little jittery today because of the injection I got in my arm yesterday. That might also yeah, be I would not. Yeah, I, I would not overdo it when you get a fresh injection because I, I got my blood drawn I think like a couple weeks ago and it. I tried drawing later that day. It was not fun at all. Yesterday it hurt really bad after the injection, so that's why I didn't start drawing mm -hmm. at all until like 10 p.m. Yeah. Right now it's not like a pain thing, it's just like, there's <laughs> slightly less control. Yeah. I mean, like, that's normal. It, it, it just takes a while for your arm to, like, stop freaking out, but, yeah. Yeah. It's mostly the right eye. That, the... The eye closest to the other character. Yeah, the, clo like, I, the eye closest to the character is the one... Because every time you keep zooming out and in, the left eye is fine. The one furthest looks fine, but the one closest keeps looking a little, like... Wonky. If not too centered, then a little, like, wonky. Like, right now, it's kind of lower. 
It's too low. I know, I, I know, I can see it! <laughs> I'm aware! <laughs> 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 Upper eyes won't do the You keep putting it in too close. I can't do anything about it now. I've been messing with it for the last ten minutes. I'll get we'll to just it work on, on on another part and yeah. then come back to it later. Yeah, I'm gonna start on the other character. Sometimes you just gotta fucking stop. Oh wait, not the other character yet. I have to do her every I just realized Corey sent some uh, aquarium pictures in the collab chat. Oh, I see. Show me fish. Frog. Oh, I love that turtle. So cute. Very good turtle. I'm so glad he's having fun with his new job. Yeah. He's made for this. Oh, truly. Born for this. <laughs> Pisces, motherfucker. He's been training for it. Is that his Pisces blood? <laughs> yep. It's like, it's no joke. Like, every single Pisces that I know has, like, a weird affinity for, like, water stuff. Because <laughs> I, I got, like, because I got, like, four Pisces people that I know, and all of them, same person, I think. Yeah. He's following Flario in a cave. What? There's a there's a terror Lucario in a cave, and so it's just I'm just seeing this manlit furry running around, shining like a like a fluorescent light. <laughs> Man, I love Saladit's design. Same. I, I, see, I feel so bad for the males, they don't get to evolve, but at the same time, that's so funny. 
I think that you know. should add an evolution to it because the lore reason as to why they don't evolve is because out in the wild, um, the males don't eat enough and that's why they don't evolve. That's it? That's the reason yes, why? Yes, because they, uh, it's like a matriarchal society so all the females get all the food. Get yeah. them some B12. So I'm like, what if it's in captivity? And yeah. they're being, like, well cared for. Added of evolution. <laughs> me, me holding my salandate in my hand, giving it, like, three hamburgers. Eat up, eat up, eat up. Evolve. Yes. But yeah, they're, like, I don't know, I don't know anything about when Salandits would have in, like, the Pokemon setting start being captured, but it has to be long enough that, on a macro-evolution scale, they would have developed an evolution, or, like, it would have been fully realized, or whatever. Right? Like, there have to have been enough kept in captivity long enough that the male's genetic structure was like, Oh, we have enough nutrients now. Alright, time to osmos ourselves. <laughs> Maybe someday. I think I've seen right. some fun speculative fan-made evolution story of that instance. Yeah. yeah. Was that? <laughs> the word I was looking for was mitos, not osmos. <laughs> Your toes! <laughs> Time to commit mitosis. <laughs> I'm getting a little munchy. Maybe an early dinner soon. We'll go get something. There's not, I'm, not, I'm not there quite yet, but I will be rapidly. Is there is there an in-lore reason for why Salazzle looks like that? Uh, yeah, it's reverse harems. Ah, uh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I would love it if, like, a male Salandit didn't, like, evolve to to have masculine qualities, and if it just was still like that as a male. I think that would be great. It would be so funny. Like, I can see the the various number of ways that they could go for, uh, for, like, a male Salandit situation for an evolution, like a male Salazzle equivalent, but I think, like, if they're, if they're sticking with the, like, joke idea of, like, a harem situation, then it has to be that, like, if the female Salazzle looks like that, then the male Salazzle just has to be hot for no reason as well. You know what? It should be hotter. It should be hotter. It should be hotter. It should have a bigger ass. <laughs> it's a quality. <laughs> I <Hi>, Buster. <laughs> They're all built like female salazzles, except their asses are just bigger. Their asses <laughs> are so much fatter they can't even walk. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they aren't eating enough. They aren't getting en they aren't getting enough weight to support all that ass. <laughs> It's just like Squidward and all those different thighs. Oh my god. And then he blows up. And then they blow up. It's just so funny though to... Because the other... Like the other possibility is that you get the... You get the situation where they're all still salazzle size, so they're all manlets, but they're all built like Machoke. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'm gonna see if I can find some of the male salazzle evolutions I've seen, and I bet they're all gonna be jacked. Yeah, they're all gonna be jacked, or they should be femboys, one of the two. Like, I'm not even interested in femboys, but it's just a funny concept to me, it you is. know? <laughs> okay, I actually found them, that's kinda cool. The most Ooh. disrespectful thing that Game Freak could be could do would be to turn a male Salazzle into like uh, a a horrid stereotype of like a male harem owner could have. Because then it's like, well, why did you do that then? Yeah, I'm, I'm linking it in the chat so people can see the source, but I'll put it on screen too. Um, I like this one. It's just a big gator thing. Oh, that's cool. 
Oh, yeah, big gnarly lizard. Yeah, that one's neat. There's some other ones, but that's like... Oh. <laughs> okay, I, fo I found one by, um... Twitter user Verbalophus. That's... It's, it's what we were saying where it's almost exactly the same. It's just... Here. One second. The male is... A slightly different color of red. Oh my god. Like, Yay! Like There's the source on Yeah. Machine. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Yeah. I just hope... I just hope that they... That they make it look good and not intentionally make it look, like, bad and creepy and, like... Like a very kind of oh gross, why is this in a harem situation? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like they can't they can't do that. They can't make the males look bad while the females look like that. Especially mm. if it's a matriarchal society, ain't no way. I thought the number one was kind of fun. This guy's fun. Ooh, <laughs> he's, he's I like that. <laughs> he's got like the same little freak energy as Salamit. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Love the shapes on his head too. Maybe we'll get something someday, but I doubt it. Yeah. You never know. They might come out with like a regional variant situation. Would be nice. Or they've added they've they've retconned and added evolutions for Pokemon before that don't have like a regional variant of the original. Like Ursa Luna. There's no there's no Hisui and Teddy Ursa and Ursa Ring, but we do have Ursa Luna because of the Hisui region. Yep. True. So they, they could do a situation like that where it's like in this region they are able to like find enough food source for all of them to evolve, but they're still a matriarchal society just because of the the gender birth ratio. Yes. Speculative Pokemon are so fun. Yeah. I want to do another turn Pokemon into Protesting today. It doesn't oh, no. hurt, it's just like malfunctioning. Yeah, I I would try not to push it too much until you're like fully like out yeah. of that. It's not causing like real bad problems yet, so I'll just keep an eye on it. Yeah. It's just every now and then I'll do a line where I'm like, I don't know where that one came from. Doing a Legends Arceus Nuzlocke would be brutal. Yeah, it would. I tried doing that <laughs> over the summer. How far did you get? Far. I only got to like the like the first like that big bug bitch, and like I my entire team was wiped out. Oh no! It it sucked. So I I I just I, I gave up. <laughs> oh no. 
I tried doing it as luck once, and I think it was in Pokemon Black and White, and my starter died immediately, and I gave up. How did your starter die immediately? It was an accident. It was a critical hit situation. Ah, uh, those, those are... Ugh. That's fair. Black and White notoriously has, like, the most crit rates I've ever seen in a Pokemon game. It dies. Gen 1 had the worst. Honestly, from my personal experience, I've been crit so many more times in Gen 5 than in Gen 1. Uh, it, it, I'm just saying, like, in a literal sense, the ratio for how often criticals happen was the highest in Gen 1. Oh. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, there's an Ursaring standing in the wild, and it's just kind of staring there, holding its arms up at me. Oh, jeez. He's posturing. <laughs> it's Ursaring, and it's hanging out with the Shroomish. It's just me and my bestie. Oh. <laughs> I like that it's raising its arms at you, because that's what you're supposed to do when you see a bear. Yeah. <laughs> He's learning. Oh god, but like, uh, like, <laughs> regarding Nuzlocke's, I, I, the only ones that I've been able to finish were Platinum and Black and White. And that's it. I tried a Nuzlocke for Red, uh, Sun and Moon, and like, I, I like, in Sun and Moon, I just got bored, so I, 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 I didn't finish it. <laughs> but like, Red kicked my ass. Yeah. That's fair. I, I did a Nuzlocke with Pokemon Shield, and I had to start over because I, I lost to Rose the first time, and the second time around, oh, finally, I succeeded. Yeah, I never finished my, my uh, Shield Nuzlocke either. Yeah. <laughs> Shit's rough. Mhm. Mm I, I want to. Because I have acquired a legal means of purchasing and playing uh, Pokemon Soul Silver through very legal means of acquisition, mm -hmm. uh, I want to do a Nuzlocke and just like screen share on that and just like fuck around with everyone watching, watching the the catastrophes that ensue. <laughs> I have never played Heart Gold or Soul Silver. Soul Silver. They're one of my favorites. They're very, like, it's one of my favorite. Even though that's around the Gen Four area, so it's missing a lot of the Pokemon that I've come to love with the newer gens. It is mm -hmm. like still in that era of pixel art, so they have it, so you can you can have your lead Pokemon follow you outside of its ball. It's so. Oh. Yeah. yeah um, like, uh... sorry. I was gonna say, if you wanna borrow my heart gold, you can. I can mail it to you. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, every Pokemon ever had on it has been since transferred over, so it's not, there's nothing on there. Okay, because, because like every time I, I, I bring up like, oh, I feel like a Nuzlocke, like Cory guesses up heart gold. Like it's so much, and it, it's gotten me like really interested in it because I just I I don't think I was like as deep into Pokemon as I am like currently when that came out. Yeah, I highly recommend it. And yeah, if if you want if you want to borrow my heart gold today, yeah, I'd, I'd be down. There's no sense in spending ninety dollars on a new copy. I know, because like I went to go look for it, <laughs> and all of them are just like absurdly priced. Yeah. What, Do you uh, want it? Something I think is very neat about Heart Gold and Soul Silver is you can shiny hunt the starters without even picking them. Um, really? You, yeah, when you go to choose your starter, it does the little screens where it previews the Pokemon, so it'll show Cyndaquil, Chigorita, and Toad Island. You can scroll through them. And if they're shiny, they will show up as shiny on that screen. So you can scroll through them, and if, if they're not shiny, you reset and then scroll through them again. Sick. It's it's one of the quickest um, starter shiny hunting methods for the older games. You would talk about the shiny hunting method as, I know, uh, it's like, as a feature. I'm sorry like I'm not that, do that I have but... fun sometimes. <laughs> and I y'all can't have fun. Because it's not fun for me. <laughs> and it's fun for me. 
Yeah, that's and that's fair. That's fair. This is my house. <laughs> uh, Indra, we, you could, do you want it? We could fuck around with one of the most like anxiety-inducing nuzlocks and do a fucking like soul lock or whatever it's called. Oh my god! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just one of us sitting there in <laughs> with much embarrassment explain how the other person's Pokemon died so that because our Pokemon died. Oh no. Shit. God. <laughs> we have to get rid of that one. Why? Because mine fucking bit it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh no. <laughs> I, I think randomizer nuzlocks are so fucking funny. Yeah. They are. Yeah, because most of the time you'll see... You'll see the kind of luck that the player has where they'll encounter such, like, not very good Pokemon and all the NPCs have, like, legendaries. Oh yeah. god, I, I know, I think Nat knows. But, uh, when I was playing through, uh, Pokemon Explorers of Time? No, Sky. When I was yeah. playing through Explorers of Sky, uh, and I was playing, I was playing it like, in tandem with Cory, and <laughs> I was having, like, the most shit luck with that game, and he was just having, like, the most, like, the best time ever. Like, the easiest time getting through dungeons, and I was in the trenches. Oh, no. I deserve a purple heart for going through Explorers of the Sky because, like, it was like, it was so like disproportionately like hard for me <laughs> that like I did, I did a cleansing ritual on my 3DS just in case it was like <laughs> bogged down with bad vibes. Oh no! But the funniest part is is that like the cleansing ritual actually worked. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, awesome. like, it, yeah, because, like, the rate of, like, monster houses that I was getting stuck in was, like, so high before that, and now it's, like, no problem. Man, oh, that's so funny. What were, what were each of your poke, what were each of your assigned Pokestonas? <laughs> Cory was a Shinx, and I was a Totodile. Aww. I mean, that's really cute, but honest to god, y'all should have swapped. I know, because he said that, like, uh, like, Shinx is, like, the easiest Pokemon to get through things. I think. I just need aesthetically, because uh, you like little pink bitches. Oh, true. I do. <laughs> Shinx is blue, though. Yeah, no, Shinx is blue, but, like, oh, sorry, blue, I was it, thinking it, it, skinny. It, it, little guy. <laughs> oh, Skitty. Oh, yeah, different cat. Yep, my brain went to a completely different cat. <laughs> the only reason why I didn't pick Skitty is because Cory was like, yeah, that, that one kind of sucks. It does. But, it sucks so bad. Yeah. Uh, so I didn't, I didn't want to... Because like, I was already having a terrible time. If I had picked Sh like Skitty, it would have been over for me. Mm. It doesn't... It doesn't suck in the... Uh, in... Super Mystery Dungeon DX, the the remake that came out on Switch. In fact, it's honestly the best Pokemon for that to start. Really? Out. Yeah. Oh awesome. my god. Uh, a lot of its ability, uh, not ability. A lot of its move sets are very beneficial. Um, attract also incredibly stupid good. Oh yeah, I forgot about attract. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it, it's just, like, the way that it's built in that game is very good for, like, not cheesing, but it's very good for, like, making a lot of fights easier to get through. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, ugh, the poor Cory, bless his heart, but, like, he was getting so many, like, revival seeds for me. Because I, I, it's just like the amount of times that I was dying was like ridiculous. And it was for stupid reasons too. Like I, I would be like on 
the second to last like floor of a dungeon and then some random Pokemon that's like not even like that bad just like one shots me. Oh man. Your game really was cursed, man. It, it was! I don't know what was going on. I'm glad your ritual helped. Yeah, me did, too. You know, it just like throw the whole thing out. <laughs> and for like a minute, I was kind of scared to open it up again. Uh, but thankfully, like I think whatever was was in it, because uh, like our running theory was that I started this game like way back in like 2014, 2015, and I, I never finished it and I never picked it up again. So it just sat like in a little thing like collecting dust, right? And so like now I was like, okay, I'm going to play through it. And I guess it was mad that I was ignoring it. <laughs> You're getting picked up a vengeful spirit. Yeah. There's, there's a Pokemon ROM hack that I really play, that Pokemon Radical Red ROM hack. No. Uh, so it's, the entirety of it is a ROM hack for Pokemon Fire Red, so it, like, looks that, uh, yeah. Gen 3 era, but mm -hmm. it, it adds every Pokemon, and I'm looking at it now because it's been updated, it adds every Pokemon up to Gen 9 in it, including the fairy typing. Holy shit. All in the, the like, Gen 3 Pokemon Fire Red, like, era video game. Uh, and it looks like there's a lot of updated features and, like, sections, not just for battles, but also for other stuff. But, yeah, the fact that it has literally every Pokemon in Gen 9 all done in, like, original sprite art as well with stats. And I think it, like... I think it does the thing that I have been wanting wanting Pokemon to do for a while, where it even like boosts the stats of Pokemon that so that way even bug types are viable and not just like the weakest little things, lowest stat pools. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I really want to play it. I I like the only thing that's stopping me is that I don't know. I don't know how to like properly install things like ROM hacks, and so I need a friend who knows. Show me how to do it. You gotta find a tutorial. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. know how to do that either. Yeah, I would have to. I mean, I'm sure this, like, just tells you how. It should, it's probably just, like, a fully download this thing, extract it, download this other thing, and extract it into that file thing. But I also, mm -hmm. I would have to sit down and read it. But yeah, I'm, like, I looked it up, and I'm Googling it right now. And, like, immediately the first is Radical Red version 2.0 release Gen 9. Uh... Gen 9 available. And that was updated. What was that? At? No. Okay, no, that's when it was started. This is updated. I think uh, back on the randomizer nuzlocks, it's so funny when somebody in like the first couple rounds finds a Regigigas or like any of the Regis because yeah. the only move they know for the first like 30 levels is self destruct. Oh man. Yeah, 
Yes, great pops. I absolutely can. I'll be right back. Yeah. I have to adjust his, um, direction of sight as well. I might as well just start over on the people's. Oh no. The eyes are yeah, I was... fighting me today. Oh man, I was also having trouble with like the eyes on this uh, Godzilla Gajinka that I'm working on right now. So I just decided to leave like the people's like for after like I'm done with like the flats and stuff. Yes. You know, I think my too much gene is kicking in because I already started rendering the hair. <laughs> <laughs> like, hold on, let me. I'm gonna drop it in the collab chat. Yeah. If it'll send. Oh! I I just saw it. Okay, yeah. Uh... So I will be right back as well. Okay. It's Okami. It's the Okami soundtrack. Alright, time to fuck with this stupid eye one more time. It's always on sale too. I just I can't play any um, games like that for a while because of my arm condition. I know it would fuck me up real bad. Nice catch. Okay, I'm back. Hi. I had to go check to see if uh, we still had any cop drops because I'm feeling weird. Uh -oh. I'm feeling a little weird. Hopefully, it doesn't it, it 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 doesn't get too bad. But like, yeah. Good luck. is strong today. Oh no.
It's okay. You'll figure it out. It, it just takes a couple tries. I'm back. Hi. Oh. Hello. I got no preference. I think we can handle it. You can handle it? Alright. Thank you, Clay Potts. I'm glad you think so. Your opinion is the most important. <laughs> they are your characters. Yeah. I will, I will be back. Oh, wait, wait. Let me look up how to download this Pokemon game and its update. Yeah, because I have no idea how people do that. Yeah, I I only have slightly an idea. Especially because this is a ROM hack, which I guess implies you probably have to have an emulator pre-installed for the game, and then you have to install this to install into the emulator. I don't know. So many steps! Yeah, I'm just like, can someone please put this all into one zip file so that way I can... I don't mess I anything up, thank you. Like, why is it so... complex? Yeah. Can someone do this for... in a way that someone who isn't uh, a tech bro can understand? Yeah! Okay, this video is two minutes long, so that's very quick. Okay, yeah, that's not bad.
okay, this this is a very good and quick, easy explanation, and the person even has images on screen with little markers to show where to click. Oh, nice. trying to see who redeemed that because I was about to be here. Bull isn't here for that to jump scare, but that was <laughs> <laughs> Does Bull know that neither of us are jump? I don't think so. Hmm. Radical Red, I instead just think of Radical Rex. Man, I have no idea what that's referencing. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Radical Rex? Radical Rex! <laughs> You're just saying <laughs> words at me. Oh no! <laughs> Had to look it up. Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea who this is. Who is this man? I also don't know who know the theme because it it's a simple tune. Oh my god. Lives in my head. Radical Rex. Wah! 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 Balls. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Getting bored, making sure. Chaos! Chaos! Is Ben over there? <laughs> <laughs> I love getting recommended animatics for things I don't know anything about or have never heard of before. Same. Because <laughs> it's good art and I will watch it, but I have no context for who these characters are. Exactly. Okay, wait. Have you have you ever seen the original Bakugan Battle Brawlers anime? Yes, I have. Uh, there is a YouTube channel. Shout out to Bakugan being this person's special interest. Uh, there's a YouTube channel oh. that like makes so many Bakugan shit posts and such, and they always they'll occasionally show up on my feed, and I'll watch them because they just. They're so funny. They hit so right. Oh my god. Single-handedly keeping the community alive. Honestly, not even an exaggeration. <laughs> Let me see if I can find find one. Okay, this one's a short video, but the this person's page has a lot of different videos that are that are edited. And I'll cool. just I'll link it in the side chat here. Okay. <laughs> this one. <laughs> the bass boost always hits me.
Oh my god. Yeah, the original Battle Brawlers went hard. That anime has been booted like twice. I know, I remember when like one of the first reboots came out and like I tried checking it out but it just didn't hit the same. Yeah, I heard. I've seen like clips of the first episode and I thought it was the yeah, first it... I saw. Yeah. Oh, that's all I have to say. You can continue with what you. Oh no no no! It's because like your audio cut out for a second, so I thought like you had like you were gonna say more, but oops. Oh. <laughs> no, you're good. Also, I'm thinking in the side chat the the quick two minute video that I watched. Wow, I love how long it took my model to uncurl. Oh no. I just sat down and the model was like, like you're inflating our yard decoration. <laughs> Damn. But hi, I have food now. Yeah. Hell yeah. Munchy thing. Saw so you got bored partway through and you started redeeming. Well, I mean, I'm there listening to what y'all are saying, because I'm not, I'm not going to let y'all just have the place. I'm not a monitor. <laughs> I'm a monitor. <laughs> right. Well, I can't believe Bull doesn't trust us. Oh, I trust you. I just wanted the spiritual <laughs> <of> conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. On my own stream. <laughs> right. On your own stream. Sorry, when I bend down to eat, I'm gonna look like I'm eating your ass. Oh no. What do you? I'm ignoring that statement. <laughs> <laughs> That's your prerogative. Yeah, everything. casually moving on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Too busy. What time, what time is it? Caprice. Oh, yeah. My favorite dinner drink.
Someday, if you. Someday, I will sponsor him. <laughs> yeah. Installing Radical Red. <laughs> Hi, pal. Hi, pal. Chop with me. Andrew, that Godzilla did you guys hot? Looks really dead. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I've been slowly working my way up through like the MonsterVerse uh, like iterations because like I don't know. I I used to draw them like back when like they were first coming out, but then it just like stopped. But like now, because of like recent activity, I'm like, hey, what if I draw them again? <laughs> <laughs> the Godzilla's call to you. Yep. Chicken and rice. Through the unbeatable. Oh, for
I'm gonna do my best to finish this commission today, and that might be all I do today. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. What's up? I'm now playing Radical Red. Yeah! Ooh. <laughs> it took me four minutes to set up. But at least you got it set up. The concept of the task was more daunting than the task itself. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love immediately in the opening uh, who this is made by, followed by if paid for Wait, you got scammed, LMA. settings option to lower the volume in this. Oh no. <laughs> Get blasted immediately. Yeah, I just, I have to go to my mixer and just set it to this. Okay, there we go. It's as low as possible. <laughs> Yay! If I go silent, it's because I'm struggling. Oh no. Yeah, this game is supposed to apparently be difficult. You signed Please. up for it. I did sign up for it, that is true, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sending you strength. Yes. <laughs> the dialogue here from Professor Oak, for some... For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, dot dot dot. <laughs> I would just love it if that's where- I would just love it if that's where it's- <laughs> As for myself, wouldn't you like to know, Bacho is a boy? <laughs> <laughs> Now tell me, are you a boy or are you a girl? Wouldn't you know whether boy? <laughs> <laughs> are you a boy or a girl? What are you a cop? Shout out to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon for the few versions of it that automatically make you non-binary. Yay! Yeah! You're gonna be paid them and you're gonna like it.
So what do you know what makes Radical Red so difficult? Uh, it's a general, like, challenge boost overall. Um, so like I mentioned before with Pokemon being given, like, proper stat upgrades so that way they are actually viable. Um, I think it also probably has smarter NPCs as well, maybe. Maybe. Oh, damn. I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're... They're more randomized than they were before, if only Pokemon up to Gen 9, so yeah. it would kind of be... It would kind of be weird for them to, like, severely limit what you start out with, but I don't know to what degree they're random. How do you find a Raikou? In the first Gen 9? No, I think they have legendaries, like, specifically, like, uh, secluded into different it's to different parts or whatever. Yeah. Like, there, it's not randomized in that you can just walk into tall grass and find a Palkia. It's randomized in that you can walk into tall grass and you can run into a Pidgey, a little pup, or whatever else. Gotcha. Yeah. Reference Rosie was doing a randomizer Nuzlocke um, and found a level 3 right though. And I'm like, wow. That's, that's, that's a baby kitty right there. Yeah. Oh boy, I get to name my rival. The option immediately at the top is green. Name him Marcus. American. No. <laughs> No, because I don't want to give him the honor of being champion. <laughs> anyway, I'm American, so his starting name is Blue instead of Green. <laughs> oh no, they're compressing me into a markable plushie size. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't turn me to a plushie, no. Oh. I'm like, I'm half tempted to screen share this just because this is starting out differently now and it's very interesting. Ooh. I wouldn't be able to put it on stream. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> if I screen shared it, it would truly just be for you and Indrid. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, fuck it. Suffer with me. We're doing this. Oh boy. But we will do it when I can find the screen share button. Go on. Go on forever. Check this out. I'm being questioned. Please stop mashing A and properly answer the incoming questions. <laughs> Where did... Do I simply want to play without any custom option? I mean, I should... Should I turn custom off? I don't know what this entails, so I don't... Maybe your first playthrough just do it wrong. Well. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I had to word it like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would be played with no custom option. Great, I have no idea what I'm in store for. Oh, look at this. Look at this menu. Wow. The hell? The skills menu? The hell do you mean skill? Oh, okay. The skills menu. What? <laughs> the professor wanted to ask if you had a preference on which region your starter was from. Oh, shit! Oh my god. Ooh, tough choice. Ooh. Yeah, I think this also has, like, 
some, if not all, of the gimmick mechanic stuff. Oh yeah, I've seen, I think I've seen that. Yeah. Shout out to Kalos, you were done dirty, your starter should have been given Mega. Yeah. Yeah. So fucking I'm surprised rude. I didn't. It is so fucking rude. Uh... I think if this is- I think I have to go Alola and just pick Incineroar. I think you got it. I love- because I love Grookey and Rillaboom with my entire heart, but if- if I'm doing this, then I have to play as the only large cat man available. <laughs> Destiny. Which is the- okay. Well, I can start running. I start running. <laughs> this is surprisingly running very smooth, which the only reason it's surprising to me is because I've tried to play Pokemon Infinite Fusion, and that thing did not run that well. It it took everything forever to load each air. That's so funny. I don't oh, know why no. that was the case. Yeah, it, even in battles, like, getting into a battle loaded fast, but getting out of a battle, I spent, like, a minute waiting for the entire game to load. I've not heard of anybody having an issue with that. Yeah, I had to use the alternate launcher, but then the game got updated, and it did not have the alternate launcher as an option, and I was just sitting there like, why? Uh -oh. Shut up, Blue. Your grandpa likes me more, I guess. Ah, oh, Red, you're like the grandson I never had. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> you're like the grandson I never had. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what should I name this Litten? <laughs> I've already decided. Yeah. I'm naming it after, like, the cat that I- my family had had for a long time for his passing. Aww. Yeah. It's Leo. What? Whoa! What? Hey, Gramps, I thought I asked for a Kanto starter. <laughs> Your choice doesn't matter. Idiot. Squirtle looks way cooler than this piece of garbage, says Blue, staring at Popplio. I won't respond. I won't stand for this oh disrespect. Oh my god. Rude. Never mind the Pokemon, I'll kick your ass, Blue, right here. <laughs> See, now I'm like, it should have named him Marcus because he's already acting like a little shit more than normal. <laughs> My game turned off. No! Oh. Game crashy. It's a good thing I literally just saved. Oh. Small blessings. 
Yeah. That was weird that it did that. Yeah. Did you say I'm under attack? <laughs> Who would be so foolish to, to try and attack me? <laughs> well... He's about to see what's gonna happen when he tries. Ha! Honey, you got a big storm coming! Enemy team. Oh, I can see the team lineup. Oh, this is very cute. <laughs> Stop lowering my defense. You better watch out. You better watch out. Watch out. <laughs> Why does the Squirtle know False Swipe? <laughs> that might be Idiot. an end move. <laughs> Idiot, False Swipe only leaves you with 1 HP always. It's never possible to kill. Maybe it just wants you to hurt. <laughs> wow. Psychotic behavior. <laughs> <laughs> that bastard. <laughs> Oak, your grandson is on some freak shit, I gotta be honest. Why well, he doesn't like him. Yeah. I'm out of here. <laughs> Actually, what's the order of events? Do I already have a town? Do I have a town map? I don't think so. No, I don't. I have nothing. There, my pockets are empty. You have no Puchina. I can't Please. catch it. No. I have no Pokeball. No. You have no. no. Thank you. Shout out to the free potion guy. You're gonna need him. Oh! No, I want it! Oh no! Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in my bag. I'm gonna stuff it in my bag. You're coming with me. <laughs> oh, I love Obstagoon so much, but I have no Pokeball to catch it. <laughs> this is insulting. <laughs> Sir? I'm so sorry, he's drunk. What would this man have done if I literally never went into the smart? 
history. <laughs> then why did you fucking ask? <laughs> I can simply walk over the stuff hole. I can step over it. <laughs> oh. It's not a problem. It is just a little guy. It's just a guy. What? Yay, ten Pokeballs. Now go catch yourself a little guy. I am. I'm gonna go catch myself a <laughs> Zigzagoo. Yes. Show me the boy. Here. I knew it. I knew it. You got it. <laughs> My third eye opened specifically for Zigzagoon. <laughs> <laughs> Zigzagoon name. Zigzagoon name, <laughs> uh... <coughs> What if I just named it the letter R? <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> I can't think of anything. Sure. <laughs> Alright, let's go R. Let's go R!
Oh, what the hell? Why are you holding an item? Hmm. What's he got? What? An Orin Berry? Why do you have an Orin Berry? That's you don't even snack. have. The... <laughs> you don't have the pickup ability. Why do you? Sometimes when you Jen? catch Pokemon, they come with stuff that's in. Maybe no, this was the starter. Oh, the starter? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That's a snack. I love the use of the Gen 5 style for the menu, though. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see the grading system they have for these stats right now? Wow. Shit. My, <laughs> my, my Litten has a C in speed, no, special defense. Well, congrats on the S tier strength, at least. Yeah. Yeah, good on you. That's your best stat. It sure is. It sure is. Sure. Yeah. Oh! Oh, that's very nice. It tells you what level it evolves at. Yay! Ooh. Oh, it has a rash nature, that's why. Are you gonna fight a bit to level those up way up? Bad. That's a higher level. Get out of there. Get out of there. talking about <laughs> the outfit clay pots gave me to put this character in is only from the knees up so I'm just gonna give him the same shoes and his main ref and hope that's okay. <laughs> Knees up only. <laughs> what the hell? Pantsier? Oh my god. What is a little guy? Little poop monkey. Leave him alone. No. He's been through enough. Has he? Yes. <laughs> about to be through more. He's about to be through more when I'm about to run through the trenches. Through the trenches. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh, that was a berry. Why does this pants here have an orin berry? Your learning phase. 
Why is this pantsier stocked? Spike. Yeah, honestly. Did y'all see the, um, Indigo Disc trailer that came out today? I did not. You get to see Kieran? Ooh. No, I chose not to watch it because I didn't want any spoilers. That's alright, you're gonna love it when you see him. <laughs> Yay, I can't wait for his Joker arc. <laughs> gender swap? I can trans my Pokemon's gender? <sighs> Oh my god. Nice. Whoa! Nice! <laughs> wow, free HRT. <laughs> What's like the recommended? Uh, I fucking I hate TV and nature bullshit. I hate it so much. I don't understand it. Are you asking for the recommended nature for your lightning? Yeah. Adamant. Adamant. Okay. Yep. Thank you. He's he's uh if something is exclusively a physical attack or you want adamant. Okay, yeah. Well, I wasn't sure if he was exclusively physical or if he was, like, split between that and special. I can go check. Okay. You can also do Jolly Nature if you want to raise the speed instead. Mm. Mm. Nah, I think I'm good with Adamant for now. Alright. Thank you, though. Yeah, if you ever want, like, the recommended nature for any given Pokemon, then just... Um, search... Smogon, yeah. Yeah, Smogon. That's the little one. <laughs> <laughs> On copy. How do I rotate text in MS Paint? <laughs> Same. I was just in here. Uh, 
there might be in Chrome settings. Oh, it's my phone. My phone just made a very loud notification sound. How do I turn it off? <laughs> turn it off. Stop. Stop. I accidentally turned it like Chrome notifications on for coffee and I thought it would just send me like a notification if somebody donates but it sends me notifications from creators I'm following too and I'm like I don't need to get pinged 10 times a day thank you So I think I'm gonna pop off for today because yeah. I gotta get dinner ready. I'll see you yeah. later. See you later. later. Have fun. I will. Bye. Ah. Many of PC. Ah. And you see this. No, quiet. Messing with notifications. Yeah, I found a minute long video to tell me how to turn it off. Gotcha. I'm gonna be in there. The breath you gave me for, um, for this character only had, uh, from the waist up, so I just put the same boots up from his normal ref. Is that okay? This man gave me an item, and then said it was worthless. Then why did you give it to me? Because he didn't want it. I don't want it! What is it? TGTV, a television set that is tuned to a program with useful tips for novice trainers. Yeah, that's useless. Are you a novice trainer? I don't think so. Yeah, you don't get it. Yeah, this is all literally just, have you ever played a Pokemon game before? No. <laughs> oh, 
Gee, I wonder when Game Freak will ever figure that out. Pokemon has been a franchise for 25 years minimum and still hasn't figured out how to make tutorials optional. This rock pack has been so cute so far, I think. Hey! I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun in a Pokemon game. No way. What a fucking concept, especially considering I'm starting in Kanto again. <laughs> Lord knows Kanto hasn't had enough games. It could use like seven more, I think. Yeah, you're probably right. Maybe eight. What the fuck? Galarian Ponyta! Woo! My little pony looking ass. I guess I'll get me a. Name it Twilight Sparkle! <laughs> I'll name it that. Yay! Stop growling. Ah, don't stomp just because I told you to stop growling. <laughs> it's <been Ooh>. me. <laughs> oh, that was I almost accidentally crit it and That would be ideal. Alright, I caught it. Yay! I love how I have an Alolan starter, and I've encountered two Galarian Pokemon so far. Grook is haunting you. Alright, give me... Uh, I don't know... Let me see if I even have enough space to name it Twilight Sparkle. I don't think I do. Just name it Twilight, then. Alright, what if I name it T-Sparks? Sure. That's not for Sparks. Testosterone Sparks. No, I'll call it Twilight. T Spark sounds like a rapper name that it hasn't earned. Actually, wait, fuck. <laughs> That's really funny conceptually, though. It's a, it's a rapper. <laughs> a rapper named T Sparks. <laughs> okay. This little, this little unicorn-looking ass. Pokemon that's just trying to become a rapper. You can have dreams. Yeah, check out her SoundCloud page. She's she's dropped some bars over there. She's in the house like carpet. <laughs> the shittiest bars known to man. I, when I heard that, I was like, there's no way it's that bad, and then it just was that bad. Yeah, as someone who has watched Persona Trinity Soul years ago, yeah, it was. 
How do they just get away with that? I don't know. <laughs> like, Persona Trinity Soul is also barely Persona, to be honest. Yeah. Welcome to the crew, Team T Spark. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the crew. When we become Pokemon champion, you can endorse your album. Yes. Casually giving my Pokemon lore. What is ours lore? Uh. I think. Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. He's kind of just, he was kind of just, like, running around eating stuff off the ground. He likes berries. He likes berries. Yeah, I think he's just here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> he said, hey, you want to challenge the league with me? And it said, yeah, I yeah, have nothing else going on. Yeah, basically, I guess. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's a... That's a whole ass Dynamax den. Let me see what that looks like. Hold on. Go back to it. Oh, hi. Oh. You found me. Oh, that is a Dynamax den, isn't it? It is a Dynamax den. I'm playing Pokemon Radical Red, the ROM hack. Nice. How are you? I'm good. I don't know why I came in here while I was still eating, but I did. That's okay, I'm also eating. <laughs> what are you eating? Burger, burger, burger. Burger! Burger, 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 burger. <laughs> yeah, we got Wendy's. Ooh, delicious. Sarah got some nonsense that's like nacho cheese. Ooh. Sherman, Sherman, Sherman. Little Sherman intermission. I love Sherman. I tolerate Sherman. Get out. How could you? <laughs> In the bull stream, no less. <laughs> what well, banjo are you gonna cause violence? I love banjo though. <laughs> yeah, he's the, the young and mischievous one. Well, my boy, yeah. <sighs> I've got him. I've got him. This squirmy little freak. <laughs> <laughs> I love both your cats. I love that they both just let you grab them and pick them up. <laughs> They're very, very friendly and tolerant cats. They're just very silly. Like, Bug won't fight you if you pick her up, but she will melt. <laughs> mm. I would say how Banjo has the temperament of a rag doll when you pick him up. Bug will just do her best to ooze her way out of your arms. Banjo does that too. Yeah, the our family cat will not let anyone but me pick her up. You're the chosen one. Yeah. Pugina. <laughs> a dog. A dog. A dog. A dog. How is Sarah feeling? Much better. Good. Good. I was gonna start fighting his immune system. It's not even his immune system, it's just his lungs. 
I'll fight his lungs. You punch his lungs? Yep. He'll die if you do that. <laughs> <laughs> if you Assuming punch his lungs, I think that would make it worse. Anything. That might make things worse. Don't punch his lungs. I'll just punch the air around his lungs. <laughs> Frighteningly. <laughs> Oh yeah, I also, I caught a, oh hi Centret, I caught a Galarian, uh, Ponyta in this game and I've decided she's an upcoming rapper, apparently. <laughs> I said to name it Twilight Sparkle and there's not enough room for that, so it was like Tea Sparkle. That's perfect. Yep. That's perfect, honestly. Can't wait to see fan art of Tea Spark. <laughs> the fan art from me specifically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. With like a chain and everything. If a horse wore Jordans, how would they wear them? Over the Jordans back legs. Shorts? No, I said Jordans. Okay. Oh, Jordans over the back hooves. Okay. All four hooves. Damn, that horse that got that kind of money? Yes. Okay. Why is my horse richer than me? <laughs> <laughs> He's not that rich, they're not matching. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they're all different ones! Yep. They're different! <laughs> Bro, where'd you find those? In the bargain bin, baby! I will say, I do really like some of the asymmetric gold Jordan designs, so there's some really cute ones. <laughs> we get to make kid sizes all the time. Hey, speaking of hooved creatures wearing Jordans, uh, uh, Frog, we gotta continue watching Lego Monkey, dude. Oh yeah, you're right. I, I thought you were gonna say that the bull. I thought you were gonna say that the bull got new shoes or something. No. <laughs> yeah, I do have Jordans. Yeah, I, I see them. Creature with Jordans, if I wanted to be. Hey, hear me out. Put someone your model. <laughs> I mean, I could just put a PNG of Jordans on my feet right now. Do it. Okay. <laughs> I have to twist my arm. <laughs> I'm gonna find the first picture of Air Jordans. Yeah, I used to not understand, like, the hype behind sneakers, but now I do, because, like, some of them are really cute. Yeah. Hey, actually, I'll be real quick. My, my brother needs me for something. Okay. Jordan soon. Y'all are in charge. You don't get an option. Everybody's just gonna get, like, the non-sequitur, like, conversation around Cream's game. Yeah. You gotta get another pony top. You need six of them. No, T Sparks here doesn't want competition. Oh, this is pre friendship is magic, okay. Yeah, the she's yet to learn that the friend that the true <laughs> the true rap game is the friends we made along the way. Okay, understandable. I know. 
not set that correctly. Oh my god, I hate that I like My Little Pony and I have these thoughts in my brain. I'm just sitting here like, yeah, no, Trixie would use a lot of, like, um, sampling and auto-tuning. I wouldn't actually <laughs> ever rap. I'm just like, why do you have this in your head? Why do you have that in your head? Why would that be knowledge you would you would maintain? Bro, I don't know. I think I'm going to start a hip-hop po pony AU. <laughs> hip-hop AU. Yeah, uh... The, the Ponyta is a rapper, and the... The Zigzagoon, uh, we just kind of found and just asked if he wanted to join, and he's got nothing better to do. Okay, so you got a rock star and a rapper. Yeah. Linton is punk? No, Linton is just my starter. Linton <laughs> is, um, heavy metal. We're not, we're not a band. The only one on here who has any interest in, like, a musical career is is T Spark. Currently. Currently, yeah. The rest of us, Lytton and I, are going to take on the Champion League and become champion. R is just here to vibe, and T Spark is in it for the fame. Okay. I'm just saying, if you let R get old enough, he will turn into like a metalhead. I mean, he could be into metal, oh, but wait, not he's, want to he's be a glam band. rock. He's glam rock. Yeah, he could be into that and not want to be in a band. He's just lazy like that. He just vibes. <laughs> My biggest concern is more of, uh, you know, survival. Hi. Welcome back. Entering into Viridian Forest. Cream won't form a band. No. I keep telling them only, only T Sparks wants to form a band. <laughs> and I keep saying Zigzagoon is right there. If you give him yeah. long enough, he'll warm up to the idea of playing guitar. He's lazy. He just wants to vibe. So he can play the bass. He doesn't want to play. <laughs> <laughs> you get that Wurple, he'll want to. He'll want to join a band. Look at him; he's excited. <laughs> no. no. Oh. oh my god! I'm gonna marry that metal pipe. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! T Spark just crit. On. Yes! One hoof at a time! Yes! Oh no. That's probably too small. <laughs> Hi, hey. the bull the bull is putting on Jordans. Yes. Hello. Hi Corey. Let me scooch up. Uh, oh, you know, now you can be a desk creature for a second. I'm busy. Ah, okay, that's that's. I'm busy. I was, like, I was like, oh, Matt's playing Pokemon. And I'm like, no, no, that's Cream playing Pokemon. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's me. I have one Jordan on. Nice. <laughs> I well, have come. Is... I have come to share. Fish. Fish. Fish hours. Fish hours. Uh, actually, hold on. Let me check to make sure that the music and some of the, these are off. It's real fish hours. Hi. Welcome. Hey. Back. Hi. Hi. I'm. 
I I that I got done with that a lot quicker than I thought I would. Nice. Hey, real quick, should I capture this wormhole? No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Here comes some fish. Oh, Wurple's, Wurple's gonna join the band. He's a hype man. Hi. Hi, babe. Okay, um, hi. Yes. Uh, yes. I shared. Yes, I shared that one already. Um, here are some. I think they're needlefish or something. Pipefish, something like that. They're the ones that swim like upside down. Here's some seahorses. Uh, oh yeah, those are another. Pipes. Yeah, another Beautiful. thing from um, the Polynesian Reef. Um, and then uh, this last one. Um, this is this one has sound because uh, there's not like the music uh, should not be super audible. I don't think because. Um, uh, this is of our electric eel, and um, his tank is rigged up to a speaker, uh, which is rigged up to um, like a uh, you know I, I don't know how I don't remember what it's called, but it he had there is a negative wire and a positive wire like just it, like touching the water or like, mm -hmm. like just a little bit of the water, um, and every time he does his little electric chalky thing. Uh, it sends uh, the like the the electricity up through the whatever that's rigged up to the speaker, and it creates this loud zapping noise. Uh, and he was very uh, very zappy today. Ooh. At least when I when I walked through and I was like, ooh, because I think he just ate. Wow. Nice. Also, what should what should I name this worm pool? Hmm. Party pizza. Party pizza. <laughs> I don't want to hear this... it. You have a zang that's named R. <laughs> yeah, but that's more of a name than party pizza. I love your Jordans, bull. Do you love that yeah. one of them faces the camera <laughs> at every angle and more of a dozen? Yeah. Oh, I love that baby eel. Wow. He's zapping. No, very, very chatty. Yeah, that is don't stick your hand in the water time. Yep. Yeah, I can imagine. See, cream, it fits. It's perfect. It didn't have a space in between it. That's fine. I'm just, I'm just gonna... Uh-oh. Well, I was messing with the props, and now I can't hide the UI. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. Well... Well, time to restart, Fiendyam. <laughs> this is what we get. Sorry, I made you put on gardens. You did not make me do anything. You suggested it, and I was like, yeah. It's Jordan's time. Sorry about your Jordans. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry that my Jordans killed me. On contact. <laughs> your kicks? My kicks. I had to put all my shit back on. All your lights and your Jordans? Yep. One Jordan. Two Jordan. Holiday lights. Free topper. Okay. <laughs> you're just gonna have me on the side like this now. I hope you're, I hope you're ready for that, because this, this well, is just how it's gonna be. Do you have a dance emote? Not anymore! <laughs> it won't make your shoes dance? Um, I mean, it might. It doesn't look like it's actually tied to my feet now that I'm looking at it, so. You didn't tie not. your Jordans? It didn't let me. <laughs> it Bro, lets me anchor it. things to my head, my chest, and my hips, but and my hands, but not my feet. Your Jordans are gonna fall off. I'm just spiritually standing in them. 
You're gonna trip over your laces, bro. Now the laces are tied. At least tuck them in. The laces are tied. The they're not tied to your feet. No, they're tied to the shoe. Who does that? Display shelves. <laughs> You go into the store and the lace is only laced up on one side and they're like, it's fine, they're tied. <laughs> <laughs> also, not gonna lie, the sound of the electric eel could put me to sleep. Oh, you should share with me. It's, it's like, yeah. it's such a sound that I'm like, ooh, that tickles my brain. I know, yeah, it like um... scratches a brain itch. Yeah. yeah, so there is, our aquarium has these things, I think it's called like, uh, it's basically, I don't remember what it's called, but it is, a, you can spend a night at the aquarium, um, and like, you, like, you, the, the two popular spots, uh, are un, in the, the shark tunnel, and next to the electric eel. Oh shit, but I want to do clouds! I know, I would want to... Go ahead. And the electric eel is not far away from uh, the sea turtles. Um, <gasps> and there's only one in in the tank right now because the other one's back in quarantine. Um, but both of them are oh. nosy as hell. <laughs> That's so cute. And they sw like So yeah, I was in back in quarantine today because I was installing a, a phone to the wall. And... Mm -hmm. um, the the sea turtle back in quarantine there's a little view window um and like turtles are intelligent so like they can they can perceive things and like know what's go like what it is more or less because the sea turtle like swam past the window saw out, like i guess out of the out of like the turtle of a corn uh, like corner of the eye for a turtle that there was a person there and I swear to God, this this sea turtle double backed, like it did a double take, like hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, like the okay. came What's back right here Who's and this? swam um, back. Like wait a minute, then <laughs> <laughs> what, what the hell was going on? Similar story time. Um, I was a docent at the Virginia Aquarium, and there was a turtle in there named Twenty Five. Twenty Five loves babies. Whenever he oh. sees a baby at the window, he comes down to pose next to the baby. So cute. Yeah, I don't know the name of our sea turtles, but I know the one in quarantine is an asshole. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh man! Holy shit! He oh, bites people. literally. Oh, he's rude. he's rude, rude. Oh yeah, he's, yeah. He's rude. We, there's a person here named Michaela, and he took like if he had bit any like she was wearing a uh the like the the scuba stuff, which is yeah. like. Um, bite proof uh, for like sharks and stuff like that. Um, but like, yeah, the sea turtle. If if she hadn't been wearing the the scuba gear, that the sea turtle would have taken a big chunk out of uh, oh, her damn. like chest or like tit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. glad that Virginia sea turtles yeah. were just chill old people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Turtles, the one currently still in, like, the one in the aquarium is a sweetie and, like, loves people. And as soon as, like, it, like, this, this turtle, like, you can, when you're looking at it, you can tell it's looking at you and being like, hey, like, what's up? What's yeah, up? Mm -hmm. um, I think Isn't that, like, video that you yeah. spent of the, the turtle, like, holding its, like, its yes, tail? That's it's yeah, just that's so, a, that's so sweet. Part. Yeah, here I'll I send love it, it so much. It. I'll send it for uh, the rest of the the people who have not seen it. Yeah, yeah. He is a, this is the sweetie pie. Um, Are you able to tell I, us what aquarium without doxing yourself? No. Uh, well. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. Uh. No. That's fine. I can share one thing about my aquarium, and that it's one of the few with bull sharks. Um, and, uh, I, Nat and Indrid know this, but, uh, our aquarium is the only one where the shark tank is held in place, or the shark tunnel is held in place by water pressure alone. Oh, cool. That fucking yeah. scares me. 
Same Thank for the view window. It's held in place by water pressure. <laughs> and we're having problems with the shark tank right now. So, <laughs> like, with uh, the water intake. Yay! Uh, there was a leak the other day where they lost uh, 24,000 gallons of water or something like that. Um, and we're going to have to replace some pipes after we get the jellyfish grow out, which is, like, the jellyfish breeding stuff behind the scenes. Um... For, uh, after we get that done, we're, we have to take care of sharks. Because uh, if that, if something there blows, and because, like, this is one of those things where it's like, um, if one goes, all of them are going to go. Um, and if that happens, oh. there will be absolutely no way to get every single, like, there will be no way to rescue the sharks because of how quickly the water will uh, run out if one of the pipes that breaks so scary yeah and this no. happened like uh the this uh, was it like the day before you like the night yes the night before yeah. i started working there yeah oh man <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> and we got another guy starting next week um who Oh, jeez. Yeah, Craig and I are, like, mm, because this guy, like, he, so, for the interviewing thing, um, when you do HR to, like, fill out your, um, like, direct deposit and your benefits and all that, immediately after that meeting, um, we're supposed to, uh, go down to a clinic to do a drug test. This guy, um, like, didn't like no call no showed um on the first one and didn't respond for like eight days and then when uh he finally did call back or like when they finally did get another um hr thing set up um like 20 minutes beforehand um he called them being like where is this again um like like what's the address again but like the the reason he said that nobody could get a, a hold of him for those eight days because like nobody was able to get a hold of him for eight days uh and his reason was yeah i accidentally mailed my phone what yeah i know what? yeah okay. and we were, like, i don't know what this like, guy's problem is what does that mean if he's what, telling what the truth that? that's the funniest shit on planet earth if he's yeah. telling the truth, he's not passing the <laughs> drug test. No. Okay, no. He I did know. Pass drug, he did pass the drug well, test, but yeah. probably only because uh, he waited eight days to, like, clear something out of his system. That's probably. Craig and I's guess. Yeah. But I do know, It's like, just suspicious timing. Yeah, and, but, yeah, if he shows up to work high at any point, he will be fired on the spot. Because they do not mess around here. No, you can't. No, yeah. You mm -hmm. There's things There's, in those tanks that will eat you. Not just things in the tanks that will eat you, like the the sharks and like the sea turtle won't. But the sea turtle, like I said, is an asshole and will bite you. <laughs> At least the, the the one in quarantine is. Um, like, you just you can't be high here because there's too much. Like, yeah, again, like uh, you have uh, to be aware at like, all times. You got to keep shit in track. Yeah. And even though Aquari even though Exhibit is not LSS, which is like one of the uh, maintenance departments, I think LSS is part of like life support or something like that. Um, because mm. um, uh, uh, another one of my coworkers, Sam, he's like, uh, like just before uh, Craig and I clocked out, Sam was fucking running around because there's uh, a clog on the beaver uh, water. And now there's like a cooler that's like malfunctioning, and he's like, "God, hell of a fucking day." Okay, and actually, uh, our beavers are chill. It's the otters that are uh, not cool. They're not chill. They <laughs> apparently get up in I all your coyotes so and will bite you and pee on you. I they believe don't it. Like they're little weasels. Oh man. Yeah, they they don't like yeah. people in, in their in their space. They're like, "What the fuck are you doing here?" 
and other things we have that are like uh, mammals that can be on land or not mammals uh, because we, we've got an iguana in the uh, Amazon um, thing. Um, Damn, you want an iguana on Amazon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're getting a second one soon too, apparently. No way. Ooh. Ah. Um, we're getting and, a buddy. Yeah, and we've also got a raccoon. <sighs> Cute. Yeah, so we've got, um, I don't know. If they have names, I don't know them, but... Aquariums and zoos are really weird about naming animals. Yeah. There's bad luck. There's bad yeah. luck to name some of them too soon. Yeah. Like, they might have code names, but I don't know what they are. Um, just like how the, the sharks probably have code names, but I don't know what they are. <laughs> And, um, so yeah, uh, the, one of the sea, sea turtles is an asshole, and then the crankiest one in the entire aquarium is the moray. Uh, he, <laughs> like, if something touches the water surface, he will, like, come out of this little hole and try to bite the shit out of it. Yeah, yeah he's like, get out of my fucking tank! Get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, uh, and he's big too. He's like five feet long, something oh, yeah. like that. Well, the pictures you're showing, I'm like, shit, Jesus. that's a big boy. Yeah, he's a big boy. Yeah. Um, yeah, and we've got two spotted eels, but one of them is not looking too great. He's got a hole in his head from I can't remember what. Yeah. But yeah, he's got mm. Spotted eels. It's the one in the um, in the uh, sea turtle thing. Um, he's got a hole in his head, and yeah, he's not doing too great. He's just been kind of like slumped over one of the corals. Like he'll move around. Oh, poor slowly. thing. He'll move around slowly, but yeah, he's 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 not doing great. And then the the spotted mm. eel cannon. Um, he just he's just doing his own thing. He's doing fine. Oh. Well, that's good, at least. And then we have so many moon jellies that behind the scenes in, like, the... Or so many baby moon jellies uh, that in behind the scenes in, like, the, the breeding, like, the spawning tank or whatever, there's so many moon jellies, it looks like soup. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like that. Forbidden soup. Yeah, and uh, another aquarium was like, Oh, hey, you guys just got moon jellies? Do you want some of our nettles? And, um, they, like, our aquarium has been, ha is needing more nettles because for whatever reason, um, from what I've heard, uh, like, we're not being able to breed nettles here for whatever reason. Um, mm -hmm. so we're trading moon jellies for nettles. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, the Virginia Aquarium used to do that too. <laughs> Hell yeah. As far as I know, like, all aquariums are kind of like that, of like, oh, hey, you've got what we need, and you've got, yeah, we've got what you need, and you've got what we need. Uh, oh, I'm specifically you. remembering it being the jellyfish. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yes. From what I understand, jellyfish are, like, a problem with how, like, quick they multiply. Yeah. Jellyfish are, like, the aquatic version of mice, from what I gather. <laughs> oh, my God. I do love them despite that though. Yeah, in our uh um, yeah. in our in our wet lab, um, which I think is also like small quarantine or something like that, but in our wet lab, um, there is one thing that is just filled with upside down jellyfish that is like every single inch is filled, like occupied by an upside down jellyfish, and like some of them are like swimming up against uh the window, the view window. Uh, and I say swimming as in like, uh, like they don't, upside down jellyfish don't swim the way other jellies swim because, you know, they're upside down, but. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is being goofy. But yeah, we've got a lot of upside downs as well. <sighs> uh, let's see, we also have, um, oh yeah. 
Uh, I got to show Nat the other day. Uh, I can't remember if I showed Indrid, but I know I showed Nat. Um, we've got a couple touch tanks, and one of them is specifically... Oh, yeah, don't you have, like, a Stingray touch tank? Not just that. Okay, it's, it's Rays and Walking Sharks. Um, and it's Ooh, a, a I want to touch a Walking counters. Shark. Yeah, it's Kaunos Ray, or whatever they're called. Um, but then we also have a, um, a Horseshoe Crab touch tank. And my son, uh, and right to, and I think it's breeding season right now for horseshoe crabs because uh, some of them have been like latched onto another one for <laughs> a while. Um, oh, yeah, it's getting close. Hmm. Yeah, in fact, uh, right now or yesterday, uh, when I walked through, um, it looked like there were two gr- like there's an odd number of horseshoe crabs, so unfortunately, one of them is always like left out. Um, but, Aww. um, there are two groups of three horseshoe crabs, so, uh, there's some, like, stuff going on there. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. but, yeah, immediately next to the horseshoe crabs is, and I know, like, when I told Matt about this, uh, you probably wanted to crawl through my phone to touch them is we have a prawn touch tank <laughs> you can just hang out with the prawns yeah you can just touch the prawns we had an issue where That's we tried so cool. to introduce other creatures to the touch tank and they died no. there was too much oh, stress no. there was too many people yeah and there well okay so like the thing with the uh with the touch tank is like there is someone from bio there to be like okay Here's that, and like with for the rays and the for the rays and the walking shark, um, there are specific times that you can touch them. Um, yep. So they only have like two or three times a day that people can like come up and touch them, and it's only for like fifteen minutes or something like that. Um, yeah. And then mm, for that's good. Also, yeah, very good. Uh, and there is also a stingray feeding lagoon. Um, oh. Yeah. And like that one has signs in it that says, please do not touch these stingrays. Cause those ones are like, uh, they're stingrays. They're not cow nose rays. Yeah. They're stingrays. <laughs> and the method of feeding them is we have long poles that we put little like fish on the end and then people like lower them down into the water and the stingrays will come up and like swarp that shit up. Yeah. Thank God. Whenever I, 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 like, get around to visiting, like, the aquarium that you work at, you have to take me to the feeding, like, the stingrays. Yeah, it's, oh, it's, like, right there. It's right adjacent from, uh, the, the sharks and the isopods. At some point, and I don't know how this happened, but at some point, a whelk ended up in our stingray pen. Oh, my God. Oh. He lived for three weeks before one of them ate him. (laughs) Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, God. Nobody was entirely sure how he got in there, and they were just like, I guess he's fine. What do we do? Because mm-hmm. you can't... It's really hard to, like, get in there and, like, actually deal with anything in there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. We've also got this one tank, um... That it... It's next to the touch tanks. It is not a touch tank. Um, but it's next to them... Uh, and it's kind of like, it's got kind of a low, um, barrier, um, to, to simulate, uh, like being on like a harbor dock. Um, uh, and it has like a light, a large viewing window on the side as well. So you can look from like above and from below the water. Um, I cannot remember what they are, but they're gold in color. Um, but, uh. They're, they're, we got some big boys, and like whenever I check the uh, the the harbor display um, to make sure there's no bugs, like cockroaches growing in it um, or hiding out in there, like I have to get up there very slowly because th- those fish spook easily. Uh-huh. And they are they are big boys in a a tank that is like uh, there could be one or two less fish. Um, cause if one of those, one of the big boys spooks, then it's not good. <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah. 
It's one of the older display tanks, though. So, like, if I remember right, that's one to eventually be expanded. Um, we just have other shit that has to be dealt with first. Like the shark tank. Right. <laughs> yeah, that is very important. That should be high yeah. priority. Yeah. The, our building director, uh, Kenny, he's like, um, hey, exhibits, uh, finish the one bio, the, the one jellyfish grow out thing. Finish the one, the one system. Because there's supposed to be two. Um, he's like, finish the one. Uh, you have until the end of the month, uh, cause January 1st, get to working on that, uh, the, the shark tank. Gotta get it. Yep. And, um, after my, like, so there was a air quotes meeting yesterday, um, between, uh, my department director, Phil, and Craig of just, like, the stuff that needs to be done and ordered um and one of the things that needs to be done in polynesian reef there are uh these old lights so polynesian reef used to be lit from underneath but now it's lit from above um and uh the the old lighting system is still underwater um and it needs to be taken out uh because it's just like rotting away basically um, it's supposed to be stainless, it's supposed to be stainless steel, but it's falling apart, um, because it's shitty stainless steel, um, and, uh, after my three-month probation, uh, if the city's like, yes, you work out, um, I'm gonna be trained on how to scuba dive, so that I can go down there, so that I can go down in there and take care of that, because Phil and Craig... Uh, they're not allowed to dive anymore because they had nasal surgery. No. Oh no! Yeah. yeah. Are you gonna get paid more if you're dive certified? Yeah. Uh, Craig yes. was like, "Okay, when you get dive certified." Oh yeah. You. I was like, "You got it." Do that, Good. folks. I'm so happy for you. I know. I know. Oh, I want to be. I'm wanna so be proud of you, man. So bad. And. Uh, I believe after the three months, I can also get forklift certified. Yeah! 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 Let's yeah. go! Ah! Oh, I, 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 I had a feeling that you would have loved that information, so I was like, I gotta share this on stream so everyone can hear you lose your shit. <laughs> No, yeah, I, I, man, I'm so happy you found a job that's so perfect for you. you I know! Oh, job. Whenever you get fourthly certified, you have to take a picture of your certification with, like, the important information, like, marked yeah. off, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see it. You got it. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Your little, your little excited hands. <laughs> but yeah, I, I can get support cliff certified after three months, hopefully. Um, and if I get both, uh, forklift and dive, well, m more specifically, if I get dive certified, I'm absolutely going to ask for a raise, but if I get forklift certified, I will see if I can get, like, a tinier raise. <laughs> Good! Sherman just scared the absolute shit out of me. Alright, uh... Um, okay, so I now have to drive home. Uh, I was dicking around with time because uh, they're repaving the parking lot at my apartment. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, hopefully by the time I get there, it will be six because they were like, hey, uh, can you keep the apartment uh, parking lot clear from uh, eight to six? Um, so, yeah, I got to drive home now. Uh, yeah, drive safe, babe. Yeah, I may jump back on, uh, if you're still going, um, but yeah, uh, you can share any of the fish, you, uh, videos if you want, uh, I don't know if I can, I can do pictures. I would have to just, like, a screen share on Discord. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. If you, if you I can also can. just, uh, send all those videos in pet pics if you want. Uh, yeah, I was just, I was just about to say, like, I could actually post them and, like, on, like, Twitter or some shit, and yeah. you could, like, get them there. Yeah. If you so desired. Everybody wants fish. Yes. Yes.
Show off your fish. Yeah, uh, I also have to pop up because, like, I made my dinner and I still haven't eaten it yet, so I need to go do that. (laughs) Go eat, boy! (laughs) I will! I will! God! Alright. Bye. Bye. Be safe. Later. Cream, are you doing an S lock? No. Oh, thank God. No, this game is already hard enough as it is. I was so worried T Spark was dead forever. No, T Spark. The pain is just taking him back. He's resting. I... I hate this trainer. What's wrong? She sucks. She uses it... She uses an Audino that has Yawn, Wish, and Protect. That's fucking hilarious. Lindy energy. <laughs> like, her Pokemon aren't even strong. She's literally just wasting my time. She's got a stall team. It's a stall team that doesn't even have attacks or anything worth stalling. No, that's what a stall team is. It's there to waste your time. That's not what a stall team usually is in every experience I've had with it. It depends on how you're playing it, I guess. <laughs> and you play it in the way that would frustrate the shit out of me. Stall teams are made to be frustrating. <laughs> yeah, you would... <laughs> this would be a situation where if this were another physical person, I would absolutely put my put my DS down, and I would just beat the shit out of them with my human hands. <laughs> like, I think at that point, I have all legal rights to snap their DS in half. Oh <laughs> like, I no longer have anger problems like I used to, but this is one of those things that'll be like, oh yeah, you used to have anger problems, huh? <laughs> Listen, sometimes, sometimes the demons have to come out. No, they don't come out around me, because they get punished otherwise. (laughs) Sometimes the demons have to come out to get punished. (laughs) Oh, at least T-Spark got two levels out of this. Because Audino, Audino is a Pokemon that gives so much experience. Yes, it's Gen 5's Chansey. Yeah. Oh! They changed... Galarian, uh, Galarian, what's its name? Uh, Ponyta's stats, or its typings, to be Fire Fairy instead of Psychic. Oh, that's what? interesting. It's supposed to be Psychic. It is supposed to be Psychic, but this game, this, uh, ROM hack changes a lot of Pokemon's typings, uh, stats, and learn sets. Okay. Yeah, so I guess they they probably didn't vibe with the idea of it being a psychic type if it's supposed to be a very like a, a variant of a fire type. Well, maybe there's just too many psychic fairy Pokemon and they just wanted to get rid of one. Maybe. That tends to be the problem. Last generation had like seven of them that you could catch. Yeah. Yeah, I did it. I set up my doctor stuff. I'm officially at the doctor's. Yay! I just set up my patient portal, portal thing, so... Yeah. The tedious part of medical stuff. Yeah, but it's so useful. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, you fucking... Picked a fight with the wrong trainer. Sorry for being rude. I'm on edge. <laughs> yeah, and I'm about to push you off the fucking edge. Get ready. Oh 
Oh my, oh my god. god. <laughs> Using the new. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> if you do something to annoy me, prepare for the consequences of your action. Using the new infinite repel I got from my father, I'm able to avoid those pesky insects. Wow. Infinite repel. Let me unlock that for you. You unlock the infinite repel. Whoa! Sure. <laughs> Why not? Okay, sure. I'll- listen, whatever saves me money... Whatever saves me money and helps me to avoid needless encounters. Yeah. Also, I couldn't catch that Relor <laughs> earlier. It would not stay in the Pokeball. Nat, why won't you stay in the Pokeball? Bull, why won't you stay? Well, you can hey, stay you in the Pokeball. Are you Relor? It's a Stare Beetle. They're my favorites. Okay. <laughs> It's a scarab beetle with a face that looks like that. Why did they give it that face? It's so funny looking. I hate it. He's the bull loves it. Guy. I hate it. I have enough can... love for the both of us, don't worry. Yeah, as I say, you can hate it all you want. I will, I will. I don't need your permission. I'll hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, are you looking for any, um, specific, like, old-style Star Wars toys, Bull? <sighs> Let me look. We had a bunch come in, and I figure if they're gone when I get there tomorrow, then they're not worth it. But if if you have anything that you're looking for, I can check the room real quick. The only things I ever care about are Kit Fisto figures, and I know there's a couple that I'm missing. Oh, these predate that. These are retro-retro. Oh, shit. Then yeah, probably not. Why do you want to fight me too? If you fucking have- Okay, you have one Pokemon in Grubbin. I respect you. I love Grubbin. Watch that Grubbin sweep your team. It is Grubbin. You never know. Grubbin rep lit Leo- Or, yeah. He got wrapped in string and then thrown- threw mud at him. Yeah, my- Lin is <laughs> asleep. He got pitched to death! I don't know if you could tell, my Lin is literally He's, He was asleep. Claypots, so. you can call dibs at any point during the preview period, so if you're wanting that specific one I posted last night, you're free to claim it. There we go. Also, Froggins, I'll just send you a screenshot of the Kit Fistos that are in my wish list. If you ever happen upon them, now you know. Okay, cool. Yeah, you'd be surprised <laughs> the kind of weird stuff we get. I bet. Kit Fisto is popular, but he's not like overly popular, so we are more likely to get toys of him. He's niche popular. Yeah. I might see if they got that like uh the ship. They might have the sh the transformer, but I'm not sure. That's the funniest one to me. It's so fucking funny. Yeah. Um I didn't get a good look at him today because I looked, glanced over and was like, oh, it's just all stormtroopers, and I didn't look at the ones in the back yet. Yeah, just let me know. Yeah, yeah. Go off, Claypots. Since Claypots is allegedly claiming this event I finished last night, I'll show it on stream. Yeah, yeah. Is it the cool one that you posted? Yeah, we'll look the last gems. night. Yeah, check this out. What is that ball there? You see that ball? Candy. Put it in your mouth, that's candy. I can't reach it. Oh. Behind a fence. Marble. Tilt your tia is not that's not here you're playing on the PC. Green, this this snake creature looks like it's about to lick your ear. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I finished this last night, and uh, 
Uh, I do think Toy Pots needs it. So I'll be awaiting that DM. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds sick as fuck. I hope you can get that marble one down. I'm sure I will. I just need to get to, um... To, uh... The other side of Diglett Cave. Uh. What's that town that's near Diglett Cave? I always forget. I can't remember. Lieutenant Surge lives there. Yeah, it's Surge Town. Surge Town <laughs> USA. It's not the name of it, but that's its name now. <laughs> I literally have a town map I can probably. You can just go look. Hang Nothing on. Nothing need be a mystery anymore. Bag. Clay pots we shall deal with invoices after stream, but it's yours. <laughs> I don't have a town map. You don't have a town map? I don't have what a did town map. Did you leave it in your pocket when you washed your pants? You Just know like what? I think I was supposed to talk to Blue's sister to get it. Oh, I know now! <laughs> You've done this to yourself. I, I did. I'm not this. blaming anyone else for this. I can't believe you done this. Well, I guess I just don't know where the fuck I'm going. <laughs> You're walking into the Digma Tunnel. WHERE THE FUCK AM I? Pokemon Nuzlocke Ryoga run. No map. I'm sorry, sorry. Zoro run for you guys. <laughs> what are either of these names you just... People who get lost. Oh. <laughs> Zoro One Piece. <laughs> yeah, Zoro One oh. Piece. Or Ryoga Ranma One, Ranma One Half. I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay. I know of Ranma One Half, but I don't know anything about Zoro One Piece. That's have made sense to me. Oh, okay. Yeah, they don't show that trope that much in the live action. You see it, like, once. But Zoro and Zoro's bit is that he has terrible sense of direction and gets lost all the time. Oh. Yep. An egg? An egg! $5,000 egg! I don't have $5,000! Hey, yes! Yes, egg, yes! I don't have enough money! Egg. What happens if you say yes when you don't have enough money? It just tells me that's not enough money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting pizza party away. <laughs> no, party pizza! No! Party pizza away. Party pizza, no! So sad. Alright, fine. Who the fuck else are you gonna put there? Nobody! <laughs> Just party pizza! What the hell is party pizza even gonna do for me? Wiggle! Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> do I look like of an Adventure Time episode? I don't care for characters <laughs> that have no importance. <laughs> <laughs> Can you not go through that little gap in the fence? Well, I can't, like, get oh. past this. Okay, you gotta get the rock smash, then. How far in through Diglett's cave can I get through? You could- what if you replace Wurmple with another worm? And that worm is Diglett. Diglett is a mole, it's not a worm. Shut up. It's a mole. A MOLIN! <gasps> a MOLIN! <laughs> A mole in the dirt. Oh, whoops, sorry. Did you kill it? Aww. Yeah. Horrible. Sorry, Layton is really strong. Swap out. 
Oh shit. Oh, now, I need to turn that off. Now party pizza can poison people. A pizza shouldn't be poisoning people. He's party pizza. That's especially bad. No. <laughs> Explain. Explain your logic right now aside from being quirky. Alcohol is a poison. This is pizza! You drink the beer with the pizza. <laughs> There's no implication of beer at this party. <laughs> it's party! It's, it's, it's a party! There's beer! This is a child's birthday party. This is a child's birthday clown. This one. <laughs> This worm is a child's birthday clown. Well, what's the clown gonna drink? Water! He doesn't <laughs> want to! He's really anxious. Then why is he drinking beer? It makes him less anxious. We're firing him. This clown is fired. I'm putting this clown away. So you gotta put him down. Make him out back. <laughs> We can't have- we can't have the awful stereotype of a drunk clown. That's the worst. I disrespect that. <laughs> I disrespect it. I disrespect all of it. Okay, Claypot knows something we don't. Claypot says, isn't that against clown code? If that's against clown code, maybe he's not actually drinking it. Maybe he's spraying it at the dads. Maybe he puts the alcohol in his mouth to blow fire. Yeah! Claypot's is right. It is against clown codes according to Clown College. I've never been to clown school, so. <laughs> this Wurmple doesn't drink. This Wurmple does not imbibe. I didn't need to go to clown school to become a clown. This Wurmple doesn't drink. <laughs> this Wurmple is sober. This Wurmple is sober. Clowns have to be sober. They're not allowed to drink. This Wurmple is straight edge. <laughs> Claypot's linking to the Clown Code of Ethics. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, read me out some Clown Code of Ethics. Jared, I'm about to. One, I will keep my act's performance and behavior in good taste while I am in costume and makeup. I will remember at all times that I have been accepted as a member of the Clown Club only to provide others, principally children, with clean clown comedy entertainment. I will remember that a good clown entertains others by making fun of himself or herself and not at the expense of or embarrassment of others. Okay, so then it wouldn't spit alcohol at someone's dad then. No, it would spit it to blow fire. That's That's, that's not what you said before. That's what I, I said. changed it. I, I stole that I stole the bull's idea. I stole the bull's idea, it's mine now. Two, I will learn to apply makeup in a professional manner. I will provide my own costume. Professional manner. I will carry out my appearance and assignment for the entertainment of others and not for personal gain or personal publicity when performing for either the International Club or on the events. I don't think anybody is doing this for notoriety. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone out there being a clown to be like, I'm gonna blow up on Twitter so hard. Buggy the Clown! TikTok. Buggy the Clown is constantly going against the Clown Code of Ethics. Yes, <laughs> I think it's his job to break every single one of these to be the anti-clown. Yeah, I'm reading number four, yeah. Oh yeah, four, uh, I'll skip to four. Wait, no, no, we're not skipping it. Three says I will neither drink alcoholic beverages nor smoke in make while in makeup or cloud costume. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay, four, I will remove my makeup and change into my street clothes as soon as possible following my appearance so that I cannot be associated with any incident that may be detrimental to the good name of clowning. <laughs> the good name of clowning. I yeah, Buggy's breaking that rule. Oh my god. What am I naming this fanfi? Hieronymus Bosch. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> it's a real guy, I promise. I'm just stupid. What are the words that you just said from your 
Hieronymus. Hieronymus. Bosch. Buck. Bosch. I think it's Bach. Fuck. Uh, he he named he painted the Garden of Earthly Delights with that one thing that Fluff likes to send people. I'm struggling to know what you're talking about. I don't know how better to explain this. I have to go Google it. Please. I'll just keep reading clown stuff. <laughs> Claypots, what's the name of this fanfy? Claypots me and the little fucking elephant. I will do my very best to maintain the best clown standards of makeup, costuming, properties, and comedy. I will appear in as many clown shows as I possibly can. Wow, that seems like put too much pressure. Yeah. Mr. Yippee? Mr. Yippee? Oh my god! Hieronymus Bosch is a painter from the 1400s, or from the 1500s. Fantastic. Mr. Yippee. He painted this absolute fucking nightmare. That I linked to the attached chat. Oh, oh, I've seen this. Not, the this garden. is gonna be everybody else's problem. The Garden of Earthly Delights. Yeah, I think this guy had autism. I mean, maybe. What makes you say that? I'm looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at it. Anyway, there's a little guy in there that's like a bean or something, and Fluff likes to use it for stuff. I have to find the bean. Good luck, I think it's really small. It's like a weird... I'm gonna find it, I'm gonna find the fucking bean. Also, be careful, because this might violate POS. It's blurred enough, I think it's fine. Yeah, there's no, there's no genitalia here. Oh, okay, yes, I, I wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is insane. There's a frog! The bean might be on a different panel, because it's a three panel piece. Oh, I see. Wait, there's more of this shit? Oh yeah, it's fucking huge. You found only the center panel. This is... Mesmerizing. You just ask- you just DM Fluff and ask him for the, uh, Hieronymus Bosch, uh, bean. <laughs> I just want to, I just want to appreciate this as it is. There's so much happening. I love this pink cow. Oh yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, Claypots, yeah, Mr. Yippie's a better name than Hieronymus Bosch. <laughs> which wouldn't fit. Yeah, how am I spelling Yippie? Is it Y-I-P-P-E-E? -E? One P. It's one P, two E. One P, two E, okay. Mr. Yippee! 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 I like this guy. That's Saro. <laughs> <laughs> the fat bird screams at men. That's Saro. <laughs> Alright, enough ticking around. I got a collision of the eyes! <laughs> I read the clown code of conduct on stream. <laughs> I can't believe we now have intimate knowledge of the clown code of conduct. Well, I'm not yeah. too intimate. I definitely skipped one or two. There's some comedians that need to read the clown code of conduct because they're assholes. Yeah. They're clowns derogatory. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, welcome, welcome to the team, Mr. Yippie. I guess that means I guess that means party pizza is in clown makeup 24 seven. Yeah, he's bringing. Well, he might just be performing all the time. We don't know. <laughs> He's got so many performances lined up. Oh, yeah, you got two performers in here. You got Party Pizza and T-Spark. Everybody has to be some sort of different type of performance art. You have a rapper and a clown. R is a mime. No, R is not a mime. <laughs> Coward. Yeah, I know you are. You can't no. reverse me, you son of a Stop. bitch. Stop, R... R is just alternative. Be nice. He's just alt. He's a juggalo. He's goth. Uh, R just likes 
makeup and face paint for the aesthetic. Yeah, so he's goth. Yeah. <laughs> he does slay poetry. He's trad goth. Be nice. <laughs> he's just vibing. Can't he? Can't a man just vibe? No. Let our vibe and be trad goth. It's fine. <laughs> I should write down this lore we've come up with. <laughs> I have a section in my own, like, personal server for notes slash art ideas, so I'll write it in there. Yeah, we gotta figure out what Mr. Yippie's deal is. It'll come in time. It'll, co it'll come organically to us. <laughs> Accountant. 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 Okay, who do you have? Uh... Let me just go open Pokemon Go so I can give you so many reasons not to let me name Pokemon. <laughs> oh, I'm on the edge of my seat. It was so fun, like... When my nephew was playing, and or when our nephew was playing, and I was like, Yeah, this is, uh, this one will be fine. This is Ice Cream Cube. Like, shit like that, like... You just saw that silly shit. I just kind of named them based on, um, what's going on at the time. And what was going on at the time for party pizza? Mm, felt like it, felt right. It was a party and a pizza. Alright, we got Vine Grabber. Beanie Baby. Fire Lizard. Lizrar. Maya. Water gun, squirrel, polished, nuggies. Nuggies is a Pidgeotto, by the way. Oh, that's right! I named my Rattata Sweet Bro and Hella Jeff. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> shut, up shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> well, I got one of each. I got Bird Junior, the Spiro. Some of these are just named after coworkers and friends, so I'm scrolling past those. No, oh. coworkers and friends on stream right now. No. <laughs> no. Um Okay, I want you to guess what Pokemon this is. His name is Shrewd Sand. Pilo Sand. No, it's the sand shrew. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I have an Alolan Sandrew, Sandshrew just named Busta Rhymes. <laughs> That's beautiful. I have the entire Nita Queen line, and they're just named after people I worked with at the aquarium. Oh my god. A live Gengar. The Clefairy. <laughs> Oh, hey, um, you know, I have Sweet Burlow and Hella Jeff. I also have yes. Jeremy. He's a Zubat. I have an Oddish named Corn. Corn? Just Corn. Like the no. Damn. It's just Corn. I have Feedies 2.5, which is a Venonet. Oh my god. Every time I get a better Venonet, I change the model number. I love who farted the ghastly. That's a good name. No! I, I would have killed that friend. Like, I'm really sorry that they stole all your Pokemon, but also, who farted? Maybe they did that. Have you considered that that was them? They got what they named who farted just for you. I have a dog trio named Benny and the Jets. Mm -hmm. 
You know how I have Sweet Bro and Hella Jeff? Yeah. I also have a Psyduck named John Egbert. Throw that one out. Throw that one out. Throw that one out. <laughs> throw, that one out. throw that one out. Throw it away. Put it down. Make it up there. <laughs> I have a... What is this one? Is it Polyrath? The middle one? Polyworld. Polyworld. I have a Polyworld just named White Vans. <laughs> I have another one named Dead Boy. Oh, I have Greg, the Abra. Just, you know, Greg. Just Greg. Oh man, Disco David, the Bell Sprout. Oh, <laughs> uh, I will say something that they that they didn't do right in this game that uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver does better. That the or actually, I'll even say that of uh, how uh, brilliant. Diamond and Shining Pearl does better is that you can just choose which Pokemon you have following outside of their Pokeball. Oh, yeah. Apparently, in this, you have to go back to the same NPC in Viridian City to to switch out your follow Aww. Pokemon. Yeah. So, so I need you to know that my Pokemon Go is full of Daves. I have Soft Dave. He's a he's a Slowpoke. I also have Little Brother. Little brother. He's a Magnemite. Because he's got three yeah. magnets. Yeah. I see you. I got your back. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Even though that's technically the opposite of little. Brother. Yeah. Okay. I have two Voltorbs, one of each kind. <laughs> um, one is named Torby Orb 2.0. The other one is Orbitorb 1.2. Wow. I have Gra-Egg, Eustace, and Lemon Boy, who are all executes. Or, yeah, execute. <laughs> no, execu <laughs> Sorry, executor. Oh, you're done? I'm done. Yeah! That looks good. You're done. Okay. What are you doing? You're done. done. It's good. Playpots, is it done? Playpots says it's done. Yes. I have a tangler named Spaghettis, plural. And then multiple spaghettes. We can't end stream until I do something extraordinarily important. Okay. I have to find a transparent image or something. Give me a second. <laughs> Oops, sorry, I tapped my microphone. No worries. Well, I sure wish adding the word transparent to Google search meant anything. Yeah, Google search doesn't mean anything anymore at all. Nope. I have a cup tops and his name is HMS Crab. I have to train this Bamfy up so I can stand a chance against Brock, because I chose the Fire-type starter, and I have a bug on my team, and I have another Fire-type on <laughs> So congratulations, Mr. Yippee, you're our only shot- <laughs> Stop- Whoa. Stop flinching! STOP FLINCHING! <laughs> I have a... Togetic, I believe? Named Eggland's Best. Beautiful. Togetic. 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 Oh yeah, that's right, they didn't have the uh, filters yet. I have a lot of Daves. Um, I have Weed Dave. Weed Dave is a jump bluff. Why do you have so many Daves? I knew a guy named Dave, he was really nice.
<laughs> that better be the Dave you're thinking of. Yeah, he's an 80-year-old man who surfed, and he gave me figs from his fig tree. He was a nice guy. Aww. Love that guy. <laughs> That's the only Dave I respect. I have a shuckle named Shukalele. What about Dave and Busters? I don't respect Dave and Busters. Shame. I have a Sneasel named Sharp Dave. <laughs> okay, I did the important thing. Hold on. Okay. Whoops. There's no reason why a place that has video games and a bar should also have, like, like bouncers that prevent you from going in if you have your ID on you. It's an adult Chuck E. Cheese, why don't you understand? <laughs> what I don't understand is they can fucking just not have me serve me alcohol. Hound Hour! The whole place is about alcohol, dude. <laughs> Well, then, adults are fucking boring if their only ideas of interesting things are alcohol and, like, Fruit Ninja on a giant screen. Nobody said that adults were cool. They really aren't. Anyway, I, I can go to a... I could go to a round one arcade <laughs> without my ID and have more fun than I could at a Dave & Buster. I don't respect Dave & Buster. <laughs> I have a tour trick named David Lynch. David Lynch? Yeah, I have a tradition of naming them David Lynch. Oh my god! Are you getting cream a little hat? No, oh, it's, it's for Neon! It's for Neon! I'm gonna change my party worm to pizza party or party pizza. Party pizza. I want to catch this Hound Dower. I don't want him on my team. I just really like Hound Dower. Hound Dower good. I changed Party Pizza's name, or, you know, my Party Hat Wormpole's name to Party Pizza, and then I scrolled over to find out that I have a Casco named Party Rockin'. Why do you keep naming the Wormpole line Party? <laughs> I don't know. What's wrong with you? I don't know. Hound Dower, stay in the ball! It doesn't want to. Oh, good. I stayed in the ball. <laughs> oh, I have a I have a swallow named Air Greg. Air Greg. How many emotes do you have? Two. Oh, this one. Okay. <laughs> what? Red shard. Why does Sound ever have a red shard? Why not? Why? Why not? I have a skitty named Laura Palmer. <laughs> you tell me why, and I'll accept it. why not. That's not how why not works. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Why <laughs> not <laughs> evolves into Wobbuffet. Yeah. I knew you were going to make that joke. <laughs> why is this Neon move to the side? <laughs> Why do I always fucking Looney Tunes you? You don't do it, and you don't do a good job of it. <laughs> and yet you fall for it every time. Well, I knew the Why Not one was coming. I don't know why you thought that was special. <laughs> I have a Numble named Spicy Dave. What is... You're not allowed to name any more Pokemon. Hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you my favorite one, but I have to go down and find it first. Um, okay. This one our, it was one the nephew was really popular was really proud of. <laughs> Mr. Yippee um, learned Flail. So, go ahead. He learned Flail. So I don't know what he's about, but he knows how to Flail <laughs> in desperation. I'm proud of him. So I didn't want to say anything that could be like sp I didn't want to say anything bad about the Pokemon while um while Rourke was playing and he was catching Pokemon on my Pokemon Go and whenever they wouldn't get in the ball I would say that they were being very rude mm -hmm. so he caught a Sprigatito and he named it Rudy and he was really proud of it <laughs> and it was really really cute oh I love that 
He is also the one who caught party pizza. Yeah. Clay pots and also, get the Delph files ready for you. It does mean that I do have a line of Pokemon that are just named Rude X. So I have Rude Cloud, Rude Kevin, Pink Bananas, Rude Bananas, Rude Squish. Incredible. We're gonna find no, somebody no. to read! No, no, let go of my hand. I don't want to go to the- <laughs> <laughs> I want you to know your voice cut out, and that was, like, the most funny time possible. <laughs> it was like you were being taken away. Yeah, you said, no, no, don't hold my hand. I don't want to go to the- And that's off. <laughs> I didn't want to go to the museum. He made me go to the museum. I don't want to go to the museum. Don't make me go to the museum. What the fuck? Don't even think about leaving until you breathe. Don't even think about leaving until you beat Brock, you bumbo. Bumbo! <laughs> Excuse me? I don't think that's the right thing. He called me a bumbo. A bumbo? <laughs> Bumbos are the thing that you put a baby in when you need them to sit up. That's a real thing. <laughs> Bum Bumbo, ain't that the original word for female himbo? <laughs> <laughs> Bumbo, isn't that little bitch with the ring? No, oh, that's what you sit the baby in. You sit the baby Bumbo in the bottle. Baggins. Bumbo <laughs> pack. <laughs> Thank you, Captions, for getting that so wrong, but how did you put <laughs> Bumble Baggins into one word? Bumble Baggins? Bumble Baggins? Bumble, that's the dating app, right? <laughs> oh, we're man. all wrong, but we're also all correct. Yeah. Everything is correct here. <laughs> Those are fucking Jordans, they're killing me. <laughs> Your feet aren't even in them! No, oh, no, no, no. How? How did you put Jordans on correctly? I can't. <laughs> oh, check that one out. Kickflip! <laughs> Wait, I can't Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. How did you get that one? One to kickflip and not the other. Oh, one of them has the always face the camera toggle on. But you, you just. Doesn't. You just decided not to turn that on? I turned that one on on accident, and I decided to go with it. Okay. Incredible. <laughs> Beautiful. And I want you to know, there's, uh, I've been playing Okami soundtrack for a while, and the song playing right now is the one that has the woman moaning in it. Good, as uh, it's appropriate for you and your Jordans. <laughs> Check out my new kicks. <laughs> Crying. Tonight has been chaos, so as far as I've seen, and um, I'm glad you got your commission finished despite that. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be any information on Megastone. Faulkner! Faulkner! <laughs> <laughs> the bull is trying to sign off! We don't have time to be upset about Faulkner! I'm starting to Okay. Dug dug. Dug dug. He's too fast. He's too fast. He can only do my spiel! Oh, sorry. Everybody! Do some stretches. Get a snack. Hydrate. Oh, I'm battling Faulkner. Take your meds. I will also stretch. Take care of yourself or else I just popped my entire upper back and it was very loud. Whoa, I did it again. Anyway, I love you all. Y'all say to Good night. Dog dog. Dog dog. Spicy Dave. Spicy Dave.